mic check, mic check, one, two, and three. Hey, 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 very happy Sunday, everybody. How we doing? Welcome on in, Yarn Spooler, Nathan, Craze. Very happy Sunday, everybody. Devil Reaper. Swordfish Red, glad you guys are excited for our Sunday night run. Love to see you, stars. Now, why can't I see chat? Why can't I see chat? Oh, there we go. Okay. Think we're ready to rock and roll tonight. I am uh, just getting home from work. A little bit later than I wanted. It's uh, about 2 p.m. And so I think I am in the mood and feeling good enough to uh, just be able to sneak in our fourth Sea of Stars speedrun tonight. And so I hope you guys are excited for it. I haven't had any time to do more prep, no nothing. We're just doing another Sea of Stars run. And uh, hope that, you know, we're one run a little bit better off. If the run looks like shit by the time I get to the four or five hour mark, I will probably just call it and go uh, watch some Sunday night football tonight. And uh, enjoy an actual night off. And so I think that'll be the, uh, that'll be the game plan. What is the what is the four or five hour mark? That would that would be like two and four, or the dweller of torment, huh? I think I think that's gonna be our that's gonna be our like cutoff point. Is we'll see how we're looking by the dweller of torment. And as long as we're in the green and we're looking good, we know we have a twelve minute time save on the dweller of dread where we died last night. And uh, if you missed it, we got a nice PB, lowered our personal best by, what was that, 24 minutes last night. Should have been more like 40. But uh, hopefully today we can kind of trend closer to that, you know, closer to that sub-9 that, uh, that we're looking for. Hey, Galleon, good to see you. Zandon, what up, what up, what up, what up? How's everyone doing before we kick off? How's your, how's your Sunday night going? As it's my Sunday, so I think I am going to crack a PBR. And then kind of settle into a nice after work Sea of Stars vibe. I've been really enjoying these speedruns. They're, uh, they're getting comfy. They're actually getting kind of comfy. Hey, Knights, how you doing? Zandin, your lion's lost, but your fantasy team is kicking serious butt. Ooh. Hold on, we have a 16-person fantasy football league. It's actually a final fantasy fantasy football league. And uh, so tell you what, I, uh, I want to see how I'm doing. Let me check, let me check before we start off here. I'll crack a PBR and see my fate. How are we looking tonight, guys? My starting QB is Mahomes. Oh, great. Off to a good start. 2 to 98% already. <laughs> so you're saying I have a chance. Well, cheers. To 2% tonight. It's not over till it's over, right? <laughs> Man, what went so, what went so catastrophically wrong? by two in the afternoon. What what went down here? Mahomes had a pretty bad game. Dalvin Cook has not scored a point yet. D 
DeAndre Hopkins had his had a shitty game. Okay. Kittle had a really bad game. The Seattle kicker sucked. All right. So basically, it's all around shitty, shitty uh, day at the office. Oh man, yeah, I'm going against I'm going against a uh, opponent who just had an amazing day too. Uh, rough day at the fantasy office, but hey, ain't gonna ain't gonna affect my sea of stars tonight. Thank you, thank you, Pine. I was waiting for a sub to uh, officially kick off the show tonight. Appreciate you being our starting gun, and thanks for the ten months in a row, my friend. Been a, been a good ten months, Pine. How's your Sunday going? Feels like it's been longer than ten months. It does, doesn't it? That's a that's a good thing. That uh, that means that it feels like we are already old friends, right? <laughs> yes, this is my home now. Yes, <laughs> and you're never allowed to leave. We've caught a we've caught a wily pine, guys, and we're gonna trap him in the VIP lounge. He's going to live off of PBR and charcuterie boards for the rest of his days. And he will love it. He will love it. I wonder what my early run time save is, huh? Trying to think back to yesterday. It's always so fun going, you know, from one run immediately into the next, because you remember precisely where your time saves are, right? And so where were they yesterday early on? Let me think about that real quick. You know, the big one is later on in the run on the Dweller of Dread, but that's literally the, the final hour. And so I'd like to kind of think about some fights that I can pinpoint to try to save time on. And I do remember there was a really bad one I got in the flooded graveyard that I actually looked up on the uh, the way to skip it again today. And so that should be one that we can uh, probably save a good couple of minutes on, to be honest, as it's a really really bad fight. And so I'll be I'll be very happy to skip it today. But there were a lot of really good takeaways from yesterday's run. Just you know what I think I need to start focusing on is we gotta realize that I am really, really good at the first four hours. I'm ahead of world record pace every run. But my second half of my run still is really poor. Because I haven't taken the time to route it out yet. Route it out, like, effectively, right? And so I think after today's run, what I'm going to be committing to for, like, Monday and Tuesday is working on refining the second half of the route so that we can... Keep that world record pace going. Because it's one thing to easily hold on to it for the first half, but if you're not capable, if you don't have the note set, right? My notes just aren't there. And I have a suspicion I might be doing some extra things that maybe some of the other runners are not doing for a nice time save. That I want to, I want to look up and take the time to watch a run, right? And investigate maybe what the other strategies they're using are. More on, more on if they're eliminating things that I'm doing, is what I'm interested in. Not really fight strategies. I feel like my fight strategies overall are quite good. For the most part. Except, except for the later fights in the run, where, you know, admittedly they struggle because I haven't routed it out well yet. You want me to try out the Solstice Ultimate against the Dweller of Dread instead of the Great Eagle today? That's a really risky proposition there, Pine. But I like where your head's at. Fuck around and find out Sunday. Well, cheers to you from my PBR to that.
Definitely not a strategy any other runner is using. But one that could be quite effective, I, I feel you. The Great Eagle does, like, no damage, right? It only does, like, 180. It's specifically for the locks, and I think you might be onto something. I think you might be onto something. Because it would be an AoE, probably like two to th two thousand damage, right? Now the the knock on that is conflagrate can be three thousand, but you gotta be really good with controlling the conflagrate, which is a difficult thing to do. And sometimes it can just go sideways on you, and there, there, it feels like there isn't much you can do. Why not have both Conflagrate and... The You're totally right. You're totally right. So the general strategy right now is to go with um, Arcane Moon. Or Moonerang. To eliminate the tentacles anytime they, they arise. It's just so fast. It's so fast is the... I think is the general... Is the general thing. It's just like, you know, the salvation. And what is... What is um. What is Valir's ultimate called? It just takes so long. Is the knock on it. Hey, Shay. Happy Sunday, my friend. How are you? Well, you're probably not in luck today, EMC, but welcome on in. Maybe sub-9 today. I'm, I'm looking for sub-9 today. That's what I'm looking for. Is Salvation much longer than Great Eagle? I sure think so, Pine. If you want to do a little uh, fun research, why don't you look it up on YouTube? And uh, maybe literally time them, and we can have some scientific knowledge gained today. I would appreciate you if you did. If they aren't much different, I'll, I will do the Pine... I will do the Pine Strat today. And if it epically fails, we can all just point and laugh at Pine, and we'll have a good Sunday night. <laughs> Alright, here's the deal, Pine. If you get to me with a scientific number, I don't care what the answer is, I will do it for you. Because you took the time to investigate. Deal? Alright, deal. And so you'll get to see Salvation or Retribution, if that's what it's called. On the Dweller of Dread, if we get that far tonight. How's the volume, guys? To Oblivion. Welcome on in, my friend. Happy Sunday. Mm-hmm. Hey, Norio. You are in time indeed. Welcome on in. I'm doing great. I am, uh, I I'm getting home just from work, though. And so, admittedly, I uh, have had no time, you know. I wanted to find time to work on the routing and improving the late run. Not, not gonna be able to do that today. Just gonna have another run, right? And that's just gonna be good enough for us. That'll be good enough today. Another run of familiarity gained. Lessons learned. Science, you know. That we can put in our arsenal for run number five. And I think it'll be Monday and Tuesday. Although Tuesday will probably be a 10 Tuesday. Final Fantasy 10 Tuesday. It will be. I think I will, um, Monday, I may even take the day off to do a full evening of routing. 
as I just have to buckle down and do it if we're gonna see the next big jump in a uh, PB because my current routing and notes are just too unfinished for the second half. I'm actually really happy with the first half at this point. I think they're really solid. But run number two, uh, the second half has to be cleaned up. Before we're going to make that next, like, you know, we could already sub nine today. But for example, if I'm going to sub a 30 and we're going to, like, realistically try to world record, I have to take an evening to fix the last... It's honestly really just the last two or three hours is all it is. That are pretty... Almost just like I'm YOLOing the final two or three hours, and that you can't do that. You know, you got to have a good note set and a good route. Is that right? Well, Pine, that's a uh, really cool knowledge. That is way less than I expected. What did you guys expect when uh, Pine went to investigate how long each uh, ultimate was? Would you have thought Great Eagle is 15, Salvation is 18, and Retribution 21? That's almost nothing of a difference, right? Three seconds from Salvation to, to Great Eagle. Well, I appreciate you, Pine. And as your payment, I will use Salvation We'll go with the faster one. We'll go Salvation, if we can. On the Dweller of Dread. Oh, I think Vespertine Canyons has to be the slowest, yeah. They walk onto the, onto the battlefield. Then they do the attack. Then they walk off <laughs> via the portal. <laughs> Is 25 seconds. I mean, it's still only 10 more than Great Eagle. Hey, Luca, how you doing, my friend? Uh, like, Luca's got big news today. Luca spent a year preparing for an exam that he took today, and he crushed it, he said. And so, congratulations, Luca. Uh, oh, no need. Ooh, almost did the tutorial. And so, big congratulations to you, Luca. That's, uh, man, I don't know what kind of test you take a year to study for, but holy shit. I can imagine you were really stressed out, and it must feel really good to be done, right? Hey, Roma. Well, I hope so, too. I, I will go watch Sunday Night Football if my run is not looking good today, and just read the writing on the wall, and uh, realize I have to just work on routing the second half. And uh, I know that. But I'm too excited to do Sea of Stars runs to say no to another run opportunity tonight. Hope you're having a good Sunday, Roma. Welcome on in. Nope. There we go. No low roll. Rock and roll. Come at me, bro. Hey, Fallen. How you doing? Low roll, high roll, mid roll, what do we got? They have 13 HP. Hey! Luck be a lady on our side. Fallen is routing some new new game plus speedruns, apparently. That they've been doing in about six hours. Of course, new game plus is a much different deal. You're kind of you're kind of crushing the run, right? With tech you wouldn't have, but uh, apparently they are quite speedy. There we go. Tutorial time. Gotta get those double taps locked in, or you know, early on today. I don't bother defending on this fight. I really don't. 
seems like a uh, needless thing. You can't really die here. And it takes a little longer to defend, right? Alright, Moonerang time. I can get about 20 here, typically. It's a really short Moonerang. Three, four. Oh, 16, not amazing, but not good enough. And the win. For an easy sub 15 word. Uh, give me the fizz. Give me the physical, sure. I was trying out brand new leveling strategies last night, focusing on physical and magic plus, magic attack plus two. And saying no to all of the, uh, all of the MP pluses, and it actually worked out quite well. You just gotta be a little more focused on your MP management. Uh, hi, see Luca. Well, congratulations, man. I hope you have uh, something special to celebrate when you get the results back. How did I save five minutes on Word? Oh, I didn't. <laughs> Word is actually not a split, and uh, so we'll catch up on boss luck. Why did it split at the 20 minute mark, though? Why is that? Like, that means last night I split on my own at the 20 minute mark? That's not right. You know what I mean? How is that? <laughs> we'll skip that and see. Yeah, I had to skip boss lug. I forgot. It didn't split last night for some reason. Oops, shit. I lost time there. <laughs> just trying to think about what's going on with that. Well, we'll just have to catch up on the Elder Mist and see what the heck is going on with that weird split. What's my Moonerang record? 138, if you can believe it. On the Botanical Horror. It was a one-shot kill, too. Pretty spicy. Yep, you heard right. 138. Call me Moonerang Maester P-Town. No, no, 138. Gotta give me all, all of them. Is that even possible? Apparently. Um, and the Adventurer's Vest. Apparently, I did it. Well, use the command Moonerang. I have a VOD. Just use an exclamation Moonerang, Luca. And you can check it out right now. It is pretty spicy. these two chests is very iffy, really. Uh, boom, boom. But I will continue to commit to it for the time being. Oh my goodness, they came at me a little more aggressively than usual, but easy dodge. And a uh, perfect section. You take the first encounter, and you skip the next two. And so, very GG there. Alright. So say hi to the big boss slug.
Sunball first. Three, four. I think I will risk it with the Moonerang. It is risky. He could Moonerang lock first. But you're really missing out on a lot of early damage if you're not going to commit to this. Nice. Oh, excellent. Oh, I didn't get the double tap. Bummer. So we'll have to be one, uh, one uh, attack to get rid of that, and then continue to uh, rock and roll. And good, that restored my Moonerang. Almost fortunate that lock didn't get broken. Quite fortunate, I will say. Good. Mm. Uh, okay, we will hold on to the combo. As the next lock is often a combo lock. Oh, I should have sunballed. Mistake. Uh, okay. Better. Combo lock time. I think after this, probably will be level one combo. Calling my shot. Uh huh, uh huh. What you got? Whoa, really being mean to, uh, to Valir here. We need to win now. Okay, I'll go all in then. Valir will die if it's on her. Yeah. Oh! One HP and a dream. Alright! 21 flat, boss luck. Well, that felt pretty good. Hey, knights. Everyone trickling on in tonight. Hope you're having a great Sunday. Glad you made it in for our fourth run. May it go deep. If it doesn't, I will be going and watching Sunday Night Football tonight. Oh, yeah. World map. Time loss. Always. <laughs> this is my, my routed in time loss for forgetting the world map is here. How does it feel to speedrun this game in contrast to FF7? Hmm. Hard to compare the two. You know, they certainly are similar in length, right? But the... The, the speedrun feel is totally different. It's so much more similar to, like, a Chrono Trigger or, uh, you know, something more like that, I think. But, um, it is the same length. I, I would say once we have it down, you know, memorized and we're familiar with the route in the run, um, you know, I think FF7 is a much harder speedrun. You can skip one berry bush? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, cool. Oh, that's neat. Oh, you asshole. Get out of here. Losing me more time. Bad cycle. Ah, bad cycle. And a bad jump. I'm gonna work on my hops today. Um, okay. Ooh. That was tighter than I... I like. I am routing this in now. Okay, interesting. Guess we'll be crescent arcing it. And then the sunball. Ball. 
Yep. And then the combo cleanup. What a good fight. And Garl for the win. GG. Yeah, my PB did have a big bad death to the Dweller of Dread at the very end. That's like the final hour. It was a nasty one. It lost me, I think, a good 12 to 15 minutes last night. And I might have had other... I definitely had other deaths, too, that I, I, I'm not even remembering. But, uh, yep, we definitely died. I think a couple times. I don't think resting here is really required, but might as well. Sell our shiny pearl. And buy. Okay, and then, oops, uh, buy. To sell, um. And probably buy another one. Yeah. Okay. I'd like to have three of those. The tomatoes are not as important. Early on. And so we take this fight, as it's super easy to kill. I tried to avoid it, but if not, it's really not a big deal. As it's a super fast one, nice little early EXP, right? Oh, he's being a dick. That was a tough little cycle. A couple of these have made me wait longer than I'm happy with, but, you know, better than getting the fight, right? Oh. Okay. Need him to unaggro here. There we go. And through. All right. Didn't get a single encounter we didn't want. Good. Some of them were a little, a little lengthy, though. Nice. Well, that was fast. It's probably the fastest I've done that. And a sub-27 entry to the Elder Mist. Yeah, it feels okay. Doesn't feel superb, but feels pretty solid. What are you guys up to for your Sunday nights, huh? Got anything good to eat, good to drink, fun things that you're doing? As we get on our voyage of the Sea of Stars tonight. go. You guys are so quiet. I have to coax you into chat tonight. Should have picked that up. Things that are super easy to pick up. I kind of like to grab for Gil. Luca, you're getting some well-deserved sleep? Yes, it is. It is well-deserved. I agree. Put in some hard work. You deserve a little, little rest and relaxation, huh? Very nice. Very smooth. These guys have pretty small hitboxes. It's pretty hard to, to hit them. You can get pretty close. And uh, not worry about them triggering a fight.
Nice. Two and two on the timer. That's a good thing. Eliminate one turn. Hey, Dave. You gotta continue your playthrough of this game. Nice. Hope you enjoyed the speedrun of it today. Glad you made it. You're gonna laugh at me, but I'm gonna get those. It's five gil. <clears throat> Mithril is making stuffed peppers, enjoying the cozy run. Chase is drinking. Cheers, my friend. From my PBR to, to yours. Oh, we're going. We're YOLOing. Holy shit. Look at this guy go. Right side first. Oh my goodness. Going crazy with it on Sunday. Can you believe this guy? Right side, before the center. Holy shit. Whoa! I am a madman and I love it. I love it. the sword of the Elder Mist, kind of forming the Elder Mist body here, and his weapons, and his sword. Reminds you of Golden Sun? You're not the first person to say that. The music, right? And the graphics, I think, are what most people say. That are really similar. Is that correct? What What is it that reminds you of it? Of Golden Sun so much. Puzzles, the music, graphics, oh, uh, yeah, someone's mentioned the puzzles, too. Definitely. <laughs> Cheeky little rest. Oh. And then the Elder Mist boss fight. I love how you get into this run and like, you, before you know it, and you, you honestly feel like it's the blink of an eye. You're half an hour in. I feel that way already about the four hour mark. I like, I, I feel like the first four hours are incredibly comfortable. And I just vibe to them. I'm just excited for when the second half will be the same as the first, right? That's the, that's where we need to get to. Missed a double tap. Okay, we can Sunball. That will kill. 54 would be a low roll, and that should be enough. Okay, excellent. Time to... Moonerang it. This is your big, biggest DPS, so I like to double boost it here. If given the opportunity. Not bad. And then the break. Okay, uh, we will do that. Nice, this is going really well. I do need Sunball back. I'm not gonna get it. There it is. Now I got it. Before the sword comes back, you kill him with one boost of Sunball. 
Excellent. Okay, uh... Well... Let's keep on... Boy, he's taking a long time. He's skipping a uh, sword return cycle, I feel. And that's excellent for us. Nice, 100. Well, I gotta wait for the sword here. There it is. Oh, I don't have enough for a sunball. Oh, my bad. Okay, uh, you know what we could do? Uh, we're gonna have to take that. He's gonna heal himself. We're just gonna have to take it out on our own. Does that heal the sword? No, good. Okay, 28. Won't kill. This should. Alright, uh, and go. I'm hoping that's it. Okay. Well, then this certainly will. I will combo it. I don't really want to do a Moonerang. Yeah. Moonerang would have been too slow. I knew we were close enough, and we're a second ahead of pace. Excellent. Okay. Hey, Dave. How you doing? Enjoying all the speedruns so far? I'm gonna avoid the rest today. I bet you, you auto uh, rest. Hope I'm not wrong. Hope I'm not wrong. Suppose if I'm wrong, I can camp on the map and we'll just take our loss, right? Just take our lump there. Enjoying all the speedruns you've watched so far. Just got the Vespertine. Oh, nice. And so you have to bail at that point? Well, Dave, go finish! I want you to be able to vibe and chill to the whole thing. But I'm excited to hear you like them. I'm, I'm finding them a ton of fun. They're getting decent enough viewership, you know, to keep me, keep me interested. And uh, certainly not the not the kind of support I get for my other speedruns monetarily, but the viewership's been good. And we've been getting a lot of new follows and a lot of new community from uh, running Sea of Stars, and that's been very good. Yeah, we do get a full heal. Excellent. Okay, well, I can eliminate that every time. This has also been a really good month for me on Twitch. I can kind of afford to take a week or two and just chill. The luxury of, uh, of success. You don't have to do what is the best monetarily. You can do what you want to do. And that's what I'm doing with Sea of Stars this week. This is what I feel like doing. It's so good to hear you guys are enjoying it. Well, I can eliminate that rest now. From my notes, every time I eliminate something, it makes me happy, brings a smile to my face. This is the Solstice Mage Ring for minus, uh, I think plus one MP, right? For every defend. Really, really important. Crazy how you get that right at the beginning. That's so, so massive. And you get it right away. Nice back attack. Uh, yep, we'll do that. 20. Tell me that'll kill. Excellent. I could do a faster strat here with a Sun Ball, but I prefer not to. I want to keep it for the next fight, where I think it's much better. Yep, 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 yep. Magic attack definitely there, plus two. Definitely there. Garl, we're just going to turn into a tank. Frank the Tank, should have named him.
I've loved routing out the, uh, ele the, the 11 rainbow conches, too. You say no to that chest right there now. Sure has made the run a little riskier, but honestly, it doesn't feel that risky. As long as you can survive the Skylands, you're in there. But, oof, the Skylands last night was scary. Hey, hey, and welcome on in. Very happy Sunday. How are you? Sea of Stars Sunday, in effect. Oh, oh. That scared me. I might mess with my cycle. Uh oh. I hope not. Never had that happen. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Well, that looks identical. Not this encounter, it's the next one that I, you really do- Okay, we go through a room, so maybe it resets it all. <clears throat> that looked correct. Hey, side quest, welcome on in. How you doing? How are you doing? All right, here's the encounter we're gonna we're gonna kill, have to kill. This is a uh, required encounter. Okay, uh, we can sunball, take out the one in the middle. Should. Uh, you know what? I will just press an arc here. Get rid of a bomb. This is going very well. Nice defend. Get him out of there. Oh, what a fight. Oh! Oh! You just heard P-Town. Just... Might have just had a a good time with that fight. Oh baby, sign me up for that every time. Now we're coming up on the encounter that we must skip, or I have to reset because it takes too long to kill. The reset's uh, preferred. So here we go. This is it. Gotta be good. Gotta be good. We were good. What a nice section. Look at this Teak's time. Holy fuck. Uh, almost a 42 Teak's. Yesterday, I want to say it was more like a 43? No, there's no way we saved that much time. Well, we, yeah, it could be that fight. That fight was so good. It might have saved like 40 seconds. <laughs> Oh, I've got to show my relics today. I nearly forgot last night, and I remembered after Teak's here, so I'll do it at the same spot after the Teak's uh, cutscene. Thank you, thank you for the applause. I felt good. Oh, I, I have a teak split. I forgot it here. Oh, so I could have known <laughs> what our pace was. That's too bad. It was way ahead. That's excellent. All right, let's flash our relics, huh? Gotta show that they're off. Show that you're not a cheater.
Yo, yo, what's good? Kieran, how are you doing? Happy Sunday. Manny just in time for the Stonemason's trial. Super fun section, really important section, too. Hope you're doing well, Cardin. I never know what to pick. Kieran, and I don't even know if I'm saying Kieran right, or Cardin. And I've known you for a long time. <laughs> what do you prefer? Yo, yo, Fiddy, what up, what up, what up, brother? How you doing? I'm saying it right. Good. I'd be embarrassed if I wasn't. Just lie to me, even if I am. Get some new chests here for Gil. Cool. I like it. All right. Here we go. So all gems and food by Zale Valir Weapons Max Mushroom Soups. Okay. Uh, mushroom soups. Only three of them. I'll sell that. Can I buy any more? Yeah, there. Now we have five. And that's much better. <clears throat> Although I kind of like those mushroom soups, but hopefully we just don't need them. I mean the uh, tomato. Whatever those were. Tomato soups, right? The mushroom soups are a party heal. Hey, Fiddy, how you doing, man? I gotta say, watching your hold on, watching your run save my bacon on the dweller fight today. Oh, well, uh, good. Glad to hear I helped out. Uh, we're getting this. This is the green leaf. Equip it on Zale. Oh, oh, uh, quit, buddy, what are you doing? Okay, well, I made a mess of that. That would be the Dweller of... I don't remember, is that Strife? That might be the... That might be the Dweller of Strife. Or that, that might be the Dweller of Woe. I kind of forgot. One of the later dwellers. All right, Garl time. Oh, nice. Right into the good defender. Excellent. Good defend. Here comes the teal drop. Uh, okay. I guess we'll reduce the teal drop by a little. Little, little here. Okay, Garl, uh, go ahead and do that. Gotta make. Oh, who's this gonna. Oh, okay. I was an excellent person for that. Uh, Mooner rang it. Is, oh, I should have crested Arcid. That would have been the better play. Would have been faster, too. Had to make sure that killed, uh, combo, and eight, yes, that will kill. Just had to survive there, excellent. Not a bad fight. I'll call that a, maybe average fight there. Yeah, 
and we will uh, rest since we're right by a rest point. Sounds really smart. Okay, Garl, go ahead. I mean, I might play this really unorthodox, actually. Since uh, there's that Moonerang there. I've never done this on this fight, but I kind of like the play. Nice. Uh, combo me. It's got a kill, right? 26? Oh, God. What a fight. This is gonna be the kill. Well, that was as great as the last one was average. Nice. What dweller is that? Is that the one with the two tentacles? Uh, Fitty? I don't remember. The octopus one? Or is that the eyeball one? Or is that the... Which one is that? The one with the... The matriarch. You're talking about the bait the gorilla matriarch, right? Oops. No! Oh. There we go. Okay. Well, the gorilla is not the... Not the boss. The gorilla is the matriarch, right? Or maybe I'm wrong. When I think of matriarch in that section, though, I think of the uh, I think of the the gorilla mother. All right, Rocky time. Pretty straightforward fight here. Garl, Valir, lock, break into a sunball, and attack out. For a triple boosted Moonray. Don't miss your double taps. So this can kill. It needs to do over a hundred. Nice. That felt like a hell of a good Rocky fight. Pretty pretty standard though, should always be good. Give me my berry jam here. I just like to blow it. For this fight, what is your lock? It is you. Uh, you. Okay. Good defend. I should kill. Eliminating his turn. Here comes the teal drop. And we hope the splash damage will kill the, the centipede here, or the ant. Ooh, didn't get that. Okay, don't fail me. Won't kill the drill bat. Come on, baby. Nice. Excellent fight here. Ooh. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, we can just eliminate that turn. Excellent.
really need to kill the drill bat though. Just need enough damage to. Ah, uh, that wasn't enough. Bummer. Uh oh. Well, let's yeah, let's go ahead and uh, combo. About to lose Valir. Nice. And then Garl. Oh, what a, what a good decision there. Excellent. Okay. Take those for the for the gold. Try not to call Gil today as much. That was really good though. Fan of what what happened there. Definitely deserving of a Luca twirl. What's going on on the football front today? You guys watching anything good right now? You gotta get me excited for Sunday night football with my run as sucks. Um, I'm gonna bail on it and go enjoy my, my SNF. Our cutoff is like hour four. Run's gotta be looking good. Gotta be looking like a PB. Uh, okay, we can nourish. What's the next fight? Ooh, it's a hard one. It's the hard one. I will want to heal before this one. Definitely go in full healed. All right. I'll blow one. Ooh, got the back attack. Okay. Don't miss this or we're really in trouble. Excellent. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and... Do that. Excellent defense. Uh, give me a double boosted. That might be enough to kill. Okay, might not have needed that. There we go. Excellent. Excellent. Garl, my boy. I'll let him take a turn for a better boosted sunball. Although that might have been unwise. Might have probably would have killed him. Waiting for Dolphins Patriots tonight. Oh, nice. A little rivalry game. Cool. This section's felt really strong. Felt really good here. The Malkiel. While we're here, I wonder if I buy more mushroom soups for the future. With everything I got. Uh, buy? I can buy two more. I love that. I love that. That's exceptional. And I will probably add that into the notes. This is your only spot, I think, to buy mushroom soups in the whole run. And you have more gill now, obviously. Having run through all those fights and such. You know what I was enjoying, Shay, was uh, watching the Manning broadcast. Last time I watched it, I didn't enjoy it. They had on, uh, what's his name? 
legendary beard fits magic, and uh, I was thinking to myself, you know, this is actually kind of a fun little, fun little way to watch the NFL. Kind of feels like watching it with like friends around the TV or something. They have a very light-hearted commentary style. I enjoyed it. All right, milk time. You love the Manning cast? Yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. Alright, Garl. We're gonna take out Rocky first here. And while we let Malk do his thing. He has a lovely attack. You need MP. That's three MP right there. It's fucking amazing. We actually like that attack. Okay, and now we focus on Melk while being able to break locks. You don't want to use your magic here, in my opinion, because he will often come at you with a, a one that necessitates a boost. Okay. Got everything on the field, though. That's max boost. You can only have three. And so we'll start using it now. Perfect fight so far, let's go probably through. Yep, to the second phase, you hear his squeak there. Now we start laying damage in. Okay, and we literally can't break that, that's phenomenal. Well, someone's dying here. L look at how lucky that lock was. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Okay, items will waste a papillon already, I hate that. But, uh, we were forced into that one. Good defend to save our bacon here. I think we're gonna have to blow a mushroom soup, huh? Okay, let's, uh, let's go ahead and do that then. Yeah, we had to do that. Glad I bought him. Okay. What's your lock? Hope I get a turn here before he goes. I need a combo. Good. Uh, combo and get that in there. I always want to hold on to one for a potential lock break here. Nope. Excellent. Going very well here. Uh, okay. Uh, yep. We can bust out a Moonerang here. I need bonuses out there. Garo will attack and get that for us. You can see he has a turn still. Okay. Should prepare us for any lock. Uh, let's just keep on going here. Excellent. Uh, Sunball it. Coming close to winning. You'll see Rocky's tongue will start to hang out of his mouth when you're almost there. Very nice. Okay. Uh, yep. What's your lock, sir? Nothing. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go all in here. You can see his tongue now. This into a boosted combo probably will be, not the win, but it'll get us about there. Nice! Alright, what a good Malco mood fight. Saved about a minute through there. GG, guys. Nice to get that time save you weren't expecting. Uh, yep, I'll take the fizz. I'll take the physical. I had to decide, we kind of want some more MP coming up soon. Uh, for the, the potential uh, wizard. In the uh, in the abandoned wizard lab, that's a fun fight though. Rocky and Malco mood.
I think our first, like, quote-unquote time save in the run, you know, significant, other than just being better, and that was just being better on handling fights effectively and as efficiently as we can. Uh, there is a couple really bad fights I, I couldn't skip in the uh, run into Duke Aventry that I really want to clean up today and should save a couple minutes in there minimum. Da, 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 na, 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 na. Oh, you know what? I could have used Mending Light in that fight. I prefer the Mushroom Soup though, although it's kind of a pain to blow that Mushroom Soup. My notes do mention I was rereading my Melko notes, which I don't use notes for. That uh, I probably have to use Mending Light once, and I think that's a waste of your combo and damage, right? I think I prefer to use the Mushroom Soup there. This, if you don't know, is the sleeper that we... Eventually, Garl wakes up by baking his bread. Can't stay asleep to the smell of freshly baked bread, right? I do like to get the two chests here for the obsidian ore. Two of them. Well, as long as we're here, that's three, uh, three gil, three gold. I'm gonna take some cheeky pickups like that today if they're just right in front of my face and begging to be picked up. I find that can often really be the difference, the food. Uh, it doesn't seem like that would make a big difference, but it really can on your item inventory and what you can afford to buy. And that's been one of the hardest things routing-wise for me, is, is running out of my my inventory. has been a real struggle at times. Do I ever buy equipment, or is it always food? I've already bought equipment uh, in the stonemason, uh, the section I was just in. I got a new sword and a new staff for our solstice warriors. <clears throat> Although we, I think the, the right answer to that is we buy equipment a lot less often than you think. Because gold in this game is really pretty scarce. It's quite scarce. And so we uh, really kind of pour most of it into the, the inventory. Unless there's such a good good equipment upgrade, we can't say no to it. And uh, the ones in the Stonemason's Trial are quite good. I wonder when the next one is for me. The next one is... Uh, most of, See, the thing about uh, the routing here is most of the equipment upgrades we pick up in chests along the way. We don't buy them. So we can serve Gil that way. And so that's a good question. Um, very important part of the run. Is uh, routing in the equipment that you have to pick up to survive, right? And then here, what am I doing? Buy, uh, let's go two shodri 
Okay, that's all I can do. Hey, Cassio. How are you doing? Very good to see you. Oh, gotta go this way first. Tiny mistake there. Hey, P-Town. How about chat? How are y'all sexy fellas doing this Sunday? Oh. Living my best life, baby. Sea of stars on the, uh, on the computer. Life is good. How are you doing, Cassio? Very happy Sunday, my friend. How is the Brazilian... How is our Brazilian Master Archer doing? Work week, but weather got nice. Got some rest in this weekend. Nice. Very glad to hear that. Glad you made it for Sea of Stars. Have you played the game yet, Cassio? Or are you, uh... Is this your first experience with the run? Best Brazilian Archer got first place at Worlds last weekend. Wow. Well, I know Brazilian Archers were great. I didn't know you were that good, Cassio. Holy shit, you gotta, you gotta slow down. Go easy on people, all right? I kid, I kid. That, that's cool. Who is it? Who's the? Uh, who is? Uh, who is the top dog? Who's the top Brazilian Archer? I follow a couple. Uh, they're probably ones that are not 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 the current best. Plan on getting a gaming set next. Nice. What are you looking at? Switch, Xbox, PlayStation. Marcus D L. Oh, I know that last name. Yeah. Probably pronounce that D. L. Mieda. You're looking at a nice gaming PC. Cool. Well, that's what I did this year. Built myself a new uh, new PC, and it's been the best upgrade of the decade for me. A really, really good upgrade. So happy we, we went all in on it. Did it, did it right, did a build the right way. Oh, it's been a, such a nice life improvement. Okay, pretty good timers here. Should kill. Excellent. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh, I picked the right one. We should be... Well, actually, I don't think these two can kill. We'll see. Oh, wow. Well, that would be a, the definition of a perfect fight, I think. How am I enjoying the game so far? I'm loving it. We're on run number four in the last five days, and I can't get enough of it. It's a really addicting run. You know, I'm kind of in that honeymoon phase still, where I'm improving every every run, right? Improved by an hour from one to two, half an hour from two to three, 
And I'm looking for another half an hour today. Is my hope. And it's always a really, you know, fun phase to be in when you're constantly seeing improvement, right? Because it's really encouraging. It's a really encouraging feeling to uh, see the see the improvement, the optimizations, the the times get lower and lower. You know, it's a fun thing. And so I've been I've been having a lot of a lot of fun with Sea of Stars. You know, probably similar to archery, right? It's exciting to see the, the scores go up, up, and up. Just like it's exciting to see the times go down, down, and down. In archery, you try to get close to 300, as you can, usually. Alright, let's try to get our back attack in here. I'm quite speedy. Nice, excellent. They always seem to have the same timers here. Lately, I think it might be a uh, standard fight, actually. No double tab needed there. Uh, yep. No double tap needed there. And then Garl for the win. Perfect fight. Oh, we're gonna get all that crap. Ooh, that was, uh, I think, either 12 or 13 gil. When they're super, super close at hand, I do really think it can be worth your while to get it. But it's gotta be minimal time loss, right? PBs in archery are rare to get for you, so it's a pleasure to get them. Oh, oh! I wasn't looking at the screen for a sec. <laughs> get out of here, you fucking filthy scrub. <laughs> I'm lucky you didn't catch me, and that would be a rough fight, rough fight. Is the game a roguelike, or are drops and enemies not too RNG? They're, they're pretty RNG. Quite RNG, actually, but not, not that much. But it definitely RNG is an element. But it's very much like a typical RPG, Casio. Like, no, 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 you're all good. You didn't distract me at all. And I did not get caught, so we're perfectly fine. Um, it, you know, it's more like a Chrono Trigger. Or a Super Mario RPG, I would say. Something like that. It's a good comparison, I think. I don't think we even need to worry about health in here. But just in case, I'll do that. And I'll see if I can get the back attack. Nice. Excellent. Uh, Sunball. Oh, good fight. We can kill the Dweller. He's the blue guy before he gets a move. No need to double tap. You know, I might as well save the time if you know you're not gonna not gonna need it, right? Ouch. Nice, great fight. Great fight. Uh skills uh oh yeah, nourish is seven, so we will have the mushroom soup here. Okay. Oh, I didn't get the back attack. Bummer. Okay, I don't think that kills now. Let's find out. Oh, good, it still does, so it's irrelevant. Nice. Well, that's cool. That's cool to know. 14. I might need the double there. Probably not.
Oh, they're wanderers, not dwellers? Thank you. Pine's like, you fucking idiot and tired of you pronouncing everything wrong. Good god. <laughs> Thank you, Pine. I appreciate you, my friend. Oh. Should have gone for the other one. We could have killed it. Thank you for the reminder. There's five. Well, the shrimp are two gill. That's like ten gill. Gold, that is. Well, we're gonna risk it in the yellow room. If I get caught, I'm dead, probably. But, you know, we gotta be brave for time save. Should not be an encounter here. Oh, goodness! I thought, actually, he was gonna pin me. Alright, and we're good. That was very scary, though. This game has an auto turbo too, Sean. So it's uh, it's really cool. It's like a perfect turbo. Just hold down the button and the text goes burr. I've never encountered a game like that before. But it's a, it's a really nice quality of life thing. Boss time, the fighter and the sorcerer. Let's go. Okay, got to uh, equip the uh, this on Garl so we can tank a triple attack. And I need to rest again um, because I need to equip that. I'm glad I caught that. Uh, Garl's going to be minus 15 health there. You have to equip and then rest after. Very important routing thing. Is there a split I could think of to get time? Yeah, the Cursed Woods, the, the next split Duke Aventry. There's a big bad encounter there that I didn't skip, and I'm looking to fix that today. That encounter is a tough one. It might, might take a couple minutes to defeat it. So we will definitely want to get that one today. Here we go. Excellent time here to start. The uh, three. Best you can have here, I believe. Wow, that was good. Holy fuck. That is by far the most I've ever seen on that boss. <laughs> that was... That was incredible. Mmm, didn't get it. Okay, I'm going to nourish then and waste a turn. Okay. Okay, shape shift. Perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and moonerang it. Yeah, I'm gonna break the detonate. That's gonna be really important here. We don't want arcane singularity. That's what will come if I can't break that lock. Okay, um, boom. I don't want to do any more moonerings. That was intentional, by the way. This is getting hurt. Hmm. This phase is not weak to magic, so your moon ring is a total waste of your time. I should have done my combo. Yeah, boosted combo early here uh, with Zale, actually. 
Oh, this is going really well. Okay, the dying phase. Yep. Okay, Garl, the Papalote. Keep on trucking here. All physical. I, I was looking for a combo there. Come on, be Garl. Okay, dead again. Okay, now. Good thing she's back. Oh, one turn? Yeah, fuck you too, buddy. It's unbreakable. Okay, we're gonna have to take Arcane Singularity here. Nothing we could have done about it. <laughs> He's just being a jerk. I broke it the best I could to reduce the damage, as we might still lose Valir. Very hard to defend this. Yep, okay. Glad Valir held on. I need him to come back to fight her. He's not doing me any favors here. He's tanking in, uh, in this phase. So it's really bad, actually. Our biggest damage is by far in the next phase. Okay, Garl. You gotta live. You gotta live, buddy. Oh my goodness! The boy who lived with one HP. And he tanked in fucking Sorcerer the entire fight. <laughs> the entire fight. That was rude, but I handled it, I think, in an expert way. I don't think I missed a single double tap either. That was quite good. And cheers to that. Save two seconds on, you know, what was a really good chapter last time. And it had a, a better boss fight that was in the fighter f uh, mode the most. I wonder if I can have enough to rebuy any Chaudry's here. Yeah, you kill a lot of fights in there. Let's find out. Okay. Five? Oh. Give me three and... No, give me... I want all the Chaudry's. I'm greedy. I like that a lot. But thanks for the GG's guys. That was a great feeling fight. And of course, now we're coming up on the Cursed Woods, where there is definitely our chance for some big time save for the first time. The Romaya boss fight was ex pretty darn exceptional, I think, but... The Duke was okay. It was the encounter skips that I didn't, I didn't really feel like I handled that well. Wow, you guys know that fighter was four minutes, four and a half minutes ahead of WR. That's what I mean when I say, like, I just need to clean up our end game. And we're, th we're going to be smashing this run. Because I'm so consistently on the part of the run that I, I have already gotten down. You know, I'm just consistently miles ahead of them. Because I'm a more capable JRPG runner. You know, most of these guys are platformers who have been uh, also speedrunning so far, like, you know, Cooney, right? They're coming from the messenger. And so if when I, when I know a part of the run, I just lay them to waste. It's the parts of the run that we don't really know yet that are still the struggle a little bit. And I'm losing a lot of time to them in the, the late mid to the end of the run. What's the rec record right now? Uh, an 8.31. And another run, another runner ran an 8.32 this morning. 
And so, you know, my goal today is try to get to sub nine, try to get around nine, right? And then the mission on Monday and Tuesday is going to be reroute and clean up the end of the run. And as soon as I do that, I think we're going to come back for run number five and run like a massive, massive PB. But, uh, you know, it's time now to take the time to do that. We're ready. We're ready for that next step. Oh, no! Oh, I didn't mean to grab that. And yeah, he almost caught my booty. Oh, that gave me a heart attack. Minor P-Town heart attack right there. Ooh. Well, I hope you guys are having a great Sunday so far. This guy needs another PBR. Oh, I already cracked one. Cool. I'm double fisted in here. <clears throat> well, I enjoy a very unripe banana. This was a poor choice today. Apparently, I need to work on my banana selection skills. This thing is... too tough. I need two PBRs. One for each hand. How do I speedrun, then? You prefer an, an unripe banana? Hmm. I don't like your style. What kind of bananas do you guys prefer? Speed run with my toes, like on a guitar pad. Pretty impressive, yeah. Or like a DDR pad. Okay, left and counter first here. These two should be fairly standard. Oh, I didn't get the back attack! Okay, not a huge deal here. Uh, let's go here. Pretty nice uh, fight the Moonerang on, really. You know, fairly equidistant. What you're looking for for good Moonerang fights. Got the combo for the bulb. Oh, nice defend. Huh, had to defend there. Uh, actually. Hmm, I was hoping that would kill. I'm gonna play this risky and not, uh... Heal. I mean, if he dies, it's not a big deal. Wow. What a nice fight. I should have comboed, though, to restore my MP, huh? Might need to blow a Shodri here, then. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'll do that for the good, the speed in the next fight. Is this the encounter that I have to skip? I think it is here, guys. This is the one. Pray for me. Oh, good. Glad to see it. It is consistent. That's the bad one, and we're through. Excellent. Excellent. Well, that fight is a really tough one to accept. Okay, a uh, boosted, uh, just a crested arc, yeah. Good, no heal option here. Uh, okay, into a boosted sunball will be fine. Let's take the chomp chomp. <clears throat> wow, killed the bulb? Holy shit. Uh, let's get this guy out of here next. Don't attack Zale, please. Good. Okay, one killed by one HP. Excellent. Uh, no, Zale, we want you. Leave Zale alive, I want the combo. Oh, come on, I have to defend. Ah, you still killed him no matter what. That's too bad. That is too bad, but it's alright. And I'm glad that didn't kill, actually. So I could do a little repair of MP, but the combo would have been the better play there. Nice, okay. There's our level up, I will take that. Totally different level up uh, priorities in this run today. Saying no to all the MP plus ones. And saying yes to all the HP and physical and magic attack plus twos. Well, we successfully dodged it, guys. That's it. Oof, good job. Good job, guys. And through. That's a like a perfect section we just did. Oh, and made it to the rest. Oh, that felt phenomenally good. All of that. That's exactly how you do that for the first time. And so now two more required fights we'll have to take here. Oh, God, when, it, when you do it right, it feels so perfect, feels so great. <laughs> Here's the back attack. That is really important. Oh, what? Oh, no, it didn't trigger the back attack. Okay, we're going to do this then. Luckily, the timers here were kind of nice to me. We'll kill one Chomp Chomp, I think, still. Oh, no, that's a terrible start. <laughs> That is a pretty terrible start that has to kill that Chomp Chomp. 55. Or we're about to be 54, super punished. This is all because of the failed back attack. Now we're probably dead. That's how awful this goes. Mm. Okay, what do we have? Uh, okay, they're not going again. We gotta eliminate people immediately. Gotta, gotta hold on here at this point. Uh, nourish is gonna be the only option, and it's not a good one. God damn, man! Someone again is dead. This is this is this is so scary. Okay, uh, let's go ahead. We're gonna let someone die. Because we'll get Zale back. Okay. Uh... Good? Okay, you know what? The Moonerang here... No. Okay, we're just gonna attack. Someone dies. Okay. They get immediate turns. Ooh. I think we're dead. 
Most likely here. This all came from the no back attack, by the way. That's how important it is! Oh my goodness! Because they get such fast turns, it's insane. This fight can go downwards in an instant. Okay, we'll get Zale back. Uh, okay, 40 won't even come close here. Hmm. Whew. Okay, uh, excellent. We're through. Wow, that was fucking freakishly scary. made it. Dying there is a probably a 10 minute uh, time loss. It would honestly just be a reset if, if it happened. We would be done for the night. And so this had to happen and it did. Good. And we have a heal after, by the way. A rest. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. There. Oh, nice! That's nine right there! I'll take that. This is the Shimmering Shard. Well, I'm just uh, breathing a sigh of relief that we're not dead. That's great. I'll put this on Valir. I would say that's the first bad fight in the run. And it all came from the lack of the back attack. We gotta get a little better at that. I would have told you I had it. I guess the big blue guy caught me on my booty before uh, I got the back attack in. Feels good to be at full health now, huh? And this fight isn't quite as bad, but it's uh, the AoE heals can't get out of hand on you. And sometimes they can. Alright, gotta break the lock. Uh, okay. And so we'll say yes to the Moonerang here. Tough Moonerang, though. It's gotta get through the lock or it's gonna heal the whole party. But the reality is, Moonerang doesn't do a ton of damage on these guys. Nice, okay. Good, got our combo. We'll want to do that with... Zale. Uh, oops, okay. Oh, we just need to kill this guy now, okay. Uh, that's gonna have to happen. 33, should kill. Nice, excellent. Garl, please. Good. Six. Nice. And we're gonna heal, so we might as well just sunball him. Alright. I'll get that, actually. I'm kinda getting addicted to <laughs> getting this stuff. Might not be really great, but on early runs, it is sure is nice. Mm-hmm. When you get Venom Flurry with, uh, Sarai, her Venom Flurry AOB is actually pretty nice, too. And I often, I often didn't, uh, utilize it, I think, nearly enough. Well, that was the best I've ever had here. Literally done perfectly by the book, but just the one bad fight. Had to save time. Had to save time. And probably was way better on my inventory, too, right? Because I didn't have to just scramble to survive. And so, cheers to that.
Man, when things like this are just asking, I'll say yes. I'm just begging to be picked. This is the kind of the scary encounter to me. But not that scary. That was really, really good. That was actually somewhat enjoyable today. This section, and I've never been able to say that before. Oh god! Oh, P-Town, you idiot! You idiot, you! You just blew it! A perfect chapter. It's alright, it's alright. Let's get out of here as quick as we can. We can heal again. I jinxed myself. That was such an easy one, too. Ah. <sighs> Oh well. At least this one isn't like the other one that you you can skip it. The other one's really much worse. It's got a lot of chomp chomp enemies in it. Oh wow, that was really good. Uh, we can just disorient. We're gonna rest so we can just blow our load here and get it out of here immediately. Yeah, it did teleport in front of me, but it's because I, I hesitated and didn't commit to moving earlier. So I lost what was like, you know, a pretty easy cycle. That could have been better. Now the question I need to uh, find out here is if we get a full heal or not. And we do. So there's no need to ever rest again. The last time I rested, I can save time there. And uh, did we talk to Gaspar? No, we just leave, right? Wait. Do we talk? No, we just we just leave. Yeah, what am I saying? Okay, I don't know how that got me in trouble. Fairy bin time for the Duke Avon Tree boss fight. <laughs> My little cubby hole I always jump into. That's so funny. This is one of my favorite sections, not now, but I can tell once I really get it down, I think it's going to be really fun. But it is the land of encounter skips, and a lot of which I need to improve on. Shimmering daggers for Sarai here. Although I want to say I avoided this yesterday. I think I did. And I, I might have not enjoyed the chapter as much due to it, actually. So. Uh, shimmering daggers. Uh, take that off and put that on her. I want to see how that affects this chapter. If it makes it noticeably better today, with a little better Sarai. And then this is an encounter you can definitely skip. We'll have to do the backup, if we even can. Nice! That's exactly how I did it yesterday. I should just enter, leave, and then do that, huh? 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 Anyone? Well, that means the Duke is next. Oh no! Oh no! K 
Okay. Oh, man. This is one of the worst encounters to get caught by. Okay, great start to the section. I'm going to have to go back and rest. Uh, rest actually after this fight here. Okay, this is gonna get nasty. This will be the, see, the thing about this game is when you get into encounters like this, it usually takes you multiple minutes to get out of it. And so, you know, you're roping yourself into this monumental time loss for one encounter mess up. This one isn't quite as bad as I thought it would be. Uh, we can phase shiv our way out of here and then we'll move on. Actually, I, I handled it quite well. And luckily, there's a rest right before the Duke fight coming up next here. Okay. I mean, is that a level? I was kind of curious if it might, might have been. Okay. Hey, you know what I like? is get, I got into that encounter, right? And that encounter sucked. But I handled it really f capably and fast. Not sure if I would have done that, you know, a couple days ago, a couple runs ago. And so here we go for the Duke. Defending is so important here, or you will die. Nice, three timer. Probably the best you can have. There we go. Got the defense. Excellent. Not gonna have to waste the disorient for Sarai here. And I would rather get the Sunball out here. Okay, excellent. Going phenomenally well. Good. GG, GG. Okay, uh, let's get boosting on the field for the next potential, uh, lock here. Really? Just chillin', huh? Chillin' like a villain, huh? Got the defend! Okay, let's hit him with the combo. I think he's a little low on health, too. Okay, uh, hit him with our, oh, uh, we're gonna have to take this. I think I would have killed him, but if I was wrong, it's an AoE death. And so we're gonna take the tornado here. Yeah, we would have died. Uh, so let's go with our fastest move first. Nice, I'm glad I prioritized our fastest move first. Like, if I would have chosen the Moonerang, that would have taken a long time, right? And we saved a minute through there. Excellent. Alright. Definitely could save three or four minutes more. Easy, right? Because there were two fights that we should not have gotten into. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That felt pretty good. Felt pretty good. Clap, clap two, clap three. Yeah. Everyone clap for me. 
But, you know, I can already see the day when we save, you know, when we're getting through the Duke in, like, 145, right? I can see that already. That's not far off. That might be next run, even. And so we do the right side first, leaving the Revenant for later when we have the Grappolo so we can get a nice back attack. So let's have a great section here. A perfect one with no extra fights, huh? That I know I can do here. on that. Okay, good. I, I time my jump off right when the wizard teleports. And so we don't want to get this fight here. Good. Well, it should be a really good section. So goddamn smooth. Perfect, right? Alright, finish off the left side. This is it. Kill the ghoul ghoul. Using the Grappolo does have a really good feel to it, I agree. Okay, excellent. Ouch. Okay, um, let's go ahead and disorient. Good, got our combo out there. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, skills, we can Moonerang. I don't know what Moonerang does to this guy. We're about to find out. Didn't I, didn't I figure out it's like a hundred damage to him? Yeah, yeah. Hey, God. Emperor, how you doing? Yeah, that's the play versus him. Uh, 24 will not kill. Should have been a better Mooneranger, huh? That will kill. Oh, left side, best side. Oh, going better than last time. Two minutes in the green. Really feeling this feeling good today, feeling confident. More, I'm feeling the confidence is higher today, too. Got a nice PB last night, Dirty. Yeah. Well, come on in. Well, we could fight this Revenant now. I kind of feel like doing that, so I know I'm done. Uh, 
Um, I'm going to try something different out. Let's do that. Let's get triple double boosts out there. And now let's do the Moonerang. Here we go. A little bigger boost. Look at him wide open. Just taking it to the chest like a man. Nice, that's it, 115. Hit him with all the big stuff you got. Oh my goodness, what a, that was a two-shot kill. Oh, dude. We're being so much better today at just optimally killing fights that were so unoptimal even last run. Like, that was a beautiful fight. Holy smokes. That was a joy to, joy to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it doesn't use a shield versus the magic attacks. Go away, bud. Boosted Sunball. Hmm. Okay, uh, sure, take that out. Good, uh, you... Well, that was a... Didn't need the boost. Okay. I think I skipped this fight yesterday. Oh, look at the wizards playing dirty. That is too bad there. Because I did get away from this one yesterday. But, well, this isn't too bad. It'd be a fairly fast kill. Uh, Crested Arc. Boy, if we weren't defending capably, we would be in so much trouble. Good. Nice fight. I mean, not really, but like, you know. Considering we had to take it, that was really nice. I keep saying that today, but it's so true. Um, I'm looking a little squishy in this section. I think I actually want the HP this round for everybody. If they have it. So I sure hope they do. Yep, that's happening. We can skip the next one, but I haven't figured out how to do part two of it yet. Maybe I'll just stare at it for a minute today, huh? If we gotta take it, we just take it. Um, wait, what did I miss? This one, right? Oh, there. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> I was sure we had that. Alright, Crested Arc. We'll do that. Yeah. We got this yesterday, too, so... Not a big deal, but a lot of them sewel-sewled their way out, making it a super fast fight. There we go. Ouch. Um, I will actually do that. Hmm. 
Nice! Thank you, sir! Sewell, Sewell, your way out! Uh, Phase Shiv me? Well, here, Venom Flurry. Take them both out. We're smarter, not harder. They better, or they both get a turn. Oh, wow. I didn't realize that was that effective on them. I need to use that more. Cool. Um... Yeah, and out, of course. Uh, items... Yeah, I'm also going to show Dree, I think. Oh no, P-Town, buddy. Alright. Again, got really caught here. I hate this encounter. <laughs> You gotta skip it three times as you come on through. So we'll just accept our fate here. And get rid of it so we don't have to worry about it as a nuisance anymore. If we if we live, that should be the wizard. He's my least favorite in here. Okay, I think he was full health actually. Not anymore. Nice. I need to be using Sarai much more here. <laughs> there we go, Sarai for the win. Hey, JC. Happy Sunday, my friend. How are you? Yeah, they could be. This is the one that I've been considering doing just that rage. You know, doing it just so you don't even have to worry about it. Because now, for example, I have to heal. I don't have any inventory left, right? And so, if I had done it right away, I wouldn't have had to worry about it anymore. But, you know, these are just kind of the, the fourth run... ...things that will we'll clean up for number five. Whenever I finally get time... ...to uh, work on actually, like, practicing, you know? I have yet to ever practice. We're just doing YOLO runs, right? For the most part. Get out of here, buddy. I got caught by this one yesterday, too. On the way back, though. Oh, what? He follows you down the stairs? I did not know that. I did not know that. I wasn't even watching. I was continuing to look at the, like, the pattern of the, uh, spirit. It's called a woodland spirit. Alright, well, we got caught yesterday, we got caught today. Nice. Good, good. I don't really want to kill. Okay, I would have preferred Sarai to get a disorient in there. Only one encounter in the next room, or it, it, it hopefully will be. That one you see there, we want to skip badly. As we have two runs in a row. It's not terribly hard. Oh, I just remembered. We have a one-shot botanical horror kill in my PB. That'll be fun to contend with. There we go. Gotta be Gucci here. Easy. Easy and fast.
Hmm. All right. Done. But the revenant, that's it. Revenant remaining. We got a much better plan for the revenant too. How did that not? Oh, dude, that makes me so angry. That makes me so angry. Okay, I'll take out the ghoul ghoul. Split all three of them apparently in twine, and it went right through all three. Well, that was, I feel a little offended by that, but you know, whatever. Uh, Sarai, let's go ahead and. Why did I do Disorient? That was supposed to be a phase shift. That was a total waste of a turn. Okay, Mushroom Soup Me, because I don't have a choice here. That one mistake was a, a big one there for Sarai. That was huge. That meant this guy's still alive and hurting me now. That was a major, major mess up on my part. Okay. Well, what we do have is... No, actually. Will that kill? I hope so. Good. Excellent. Um, not really excellent, actually. I want her alive for the Disorient. We're just getting boost out here for the Moonerang now. Oh my god, didn't kill her good. Okay. Uh, let's just do it. Rock and roll time. Mammy. What you got? What you got? Killed me. Nice. And the win. Get a lot better at these revenant fights. Just gotta not fuck up the Disorient next time. That would have been perfect. So Romaya awaits. Fun ass fight. Romaya is another fight that if you make a mistake on, it can go south on you really fast because she'll start calling in other, other, other minions. And uh, the other thing that happened yesterday is she threw me a lock that was unbreakable. And that was unfortunate because then the Revenant got called in. But it was right at the end of the fight when it really didn't matter. So here we go for Romaya. Uh, Disorient. Okay. Gonna hold on to the Sunball because we need a boost out there if we can't break this lock without it. Okay, uh... I, where is my MP? Don't have any. Wow. This is a really bad situation. Okay, we're gonna have to take this. It's gonna call in a Revenant, I think. Mm, no, we're still good. We're we're just be able, gonna be able to get through it. Lovely. Okay. <laughs> GG. Handle that just like we had to. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, we just need combo it so we get more MP back on Valir. Okay, we have a disorient now. Excellent. I could just keep this going. Might as well. We're gonna leave more boosting out there. I don't love how I'm low on MP, but I'm going to combo it here. Get us at least closer to back. What's your move, eyeball? Okay. Got the disorient back. No, I don't. Alright, uh, let's do... We're probably gonna have to accept this one. Yeah, oh good, it's Fellfire Rain, excellent. I just didn't want her to call in the Revenant. Okay, I'm just gonna let it ride for the next lock, basically. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and do a boosted combo. I do want to hold on to the Moon Ring, though. Uh, okay. No problem, Bob. Gotta be close now. We're gonna push here. Okay. Mmm. What a great Romaya. And despite the fact that I felt like that was not a very good section, still save time. Let's go. I think there might be what? Seven, six to seven minutes of time save in that section. I think three fights I could have skipped that were not skipped. You know, I think realistically you could be sub two hours on Romaya with a perfect run that got every skip. You know, but it's nice to see that even though I felt like that was atrocious, we, you know, we still uh, hung in there. Well, good to see you in the house, JC. How's the move going, man? You're probably packing all night, huh? No way. Good. This is something I think I might avoid eventually. This is the evergreen leaf here. But that uh, sure is nice. It's quite a bit of, uh... Quite, it's 5 MP on Valir. Magic attack plus 5, that's right. Which is not nothing. <clears throat> not nothing. And Romaya chapter... Done. We're just the one step away, man. We're the one step away from a really nice Romaya. I can feel it.
Yeah, see, that's where I'm losing my run there. I'm a minute ahead of world record on the Duke, and then I'm three minutes behind on Romaya. And so that tells you a lot right there. You know, that the that, that must mean Cooney can get every encounter skip, right? So he's, you know, clearly practiced that quite a bit. That's what I'm looking forward to, is next week getting the time to put in the practice and then add him in. Hey, Jim, how you doing? Have I seen the new FF7 remake trailer? Yes, we watched it live on stream. The state of play. And it was incredible. I think we watched it 20 times, if I'm being honest. Bye. Uh, give me some hearty jams and... Uh, sure. But yeah, yeah, we did watch it. We were we were really uh really uh nerded out over it too. But uh good to see you back in the house, Jim. Yeah, no worries. Hope you've been well. We've been uh, learning the Sea of Stars speedrun. Have you checked it out yet or are you uh have you not have you not done Sea of Stars? And we're on run number four today. Like four in five days. You know, you should if you're an RPG fan. This game instantly went into my hierarchy of best RPGs of all time. I can give it a, a, a nine and a half out of ten. <clears throat> All right, here we go. We should skip the first two encounters here. But I got caught by the books uh, yesterday, and that's really nasty here. I, I don't want that today. Okay. Looks like we're in there. Oh, yeah. Good defense. <clears throat> good, good, good. Hey, Shinef. Happy Sunday. How are you doing? I like that's not an AoE. That's a good thing for us. Okay. Uh, 20. Oh, no. I didn't mean to attack that one. The one with the lock, buddy. And fire. My least favorite one. I really hate that. Now to the uh, now to the recipe part. Four two three four two one. Okay. Two three four two one. Two three four two one. Two three four two one. Alright, got the job done. 
I had to do that twice yesterday. Okay. Yeah, it's been okay so far. And hanging in there. Hanging in there. Ramaya was not great. I got like three or four encounters in the Ramaya section that I shouldn't have gotten. And fell off the pace, but uh, all in all, it's been a good run so far. Okay, we do not want to get caught here. We will be careful. Hey, Grillium, how you doing? I don't know. You have to tell me. Two, 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 two here. I'm going to go quite fast. Better not get caught here. When I say better, I mean it. Oh my god, be down You are the worst. You are literally the worst, buddy. I find that so unacceptable. <laughs> Alright, here we go. This is like one of the easiest ones to skip. They're just crafty little books, I guess. At least we'll be able to break every lock. That's kind of nice. Okay, uh, Crescent Arc. Yeah. Well, they won't even get a turn here. Well, I guess they will. We'll give them one turn. Which is not a bad thing, it gives me the ability to get my MP back. And so, let's go ahead and combo it. Cool. Was my speedy my sprint climb there? I'm kind of offended. Where was it? Okay, that'll get me my boost at Sunball for the next fight. GG. Um, items. Da -na 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 -na. And then we'll want to attack out to get our MP back for the next two fights coming up. Good. I don't really want to... Alright, I'll take him out now. Might want to show Dree for a sunball is all. Might, I might, I might. Random time loss? From what? Oops.
Uh, items, hearty stew, berry jam. Excellent. I know, no speed climbing. That kind of offended me. I'm gl yeah, I'm glad you picked up on that, too. This fight went really bad yesterday. I couldn't break the locks. I, th I think it was this fight, although I kind of forget. Well, it's not that I couldn't. I it was impossible to break the locks. Okay. And this is going very well instead. Will that go pop? Pop goes the bulb. Wow, nice. Do I show Drea here? I suppose I shall. Okay, let's go ahead and... Well... I'm actually going to let them do their chomp chomping here. Two, three, four. Because that'll kill the bulb. Kind of like that play. We might lose Valir here, though. Who are you targeting? Oh, we're going to lose you. Okay. Get out of here. Rest Botanical Horror Time, who I one-shot killed last night. I actually felt pretty decent that whole section, despite the Tantarian that I could have skipped. I think that was the only fight, right? Just the one extra fight? <clears throat> so, here we go. But we got the one-shot uh, Moonaran kill. Okay. Take out the uh, tentacles first. And then try to do the Moonerang thing. Uh, let's go ahead and Venom Flurry it, sure. <clears throat> Having never tried this on this fight, this is more an experiment for me. I want to see what this does. Other than reducing the damage of the one a little bit. Not great, not great, but okay. Ouch. No, dude. Four in a row? Fuck you. Straight up, fuck you. <laughs> oh, that was absolutely rude as fuck. What are the chances of that four times in a row? I... Three people. Every time. Every time the same one. Man. Okay. Uh, here. Actually, we don't need any of the boosting. What we really need is Mending Light. Good. And Valir back. Excellent. Okay. Now we're back on track. And we can easily break the locks. Excellent. Okay. Got enough boosting out there already for the Moonerang. Okay. Um, well...
I don't really want to use the Moonerang. So we'll take this. We want the MP. Okay. Alright, we are now in there. One more boost. Excellent. I will... Do the thing. This can one-shot kill. Hundred and seventy-seven! Woo! Let's go! Ha ha, baby! That is how you do it. No, no, rare breed. <laughs> You're seeing it. That's you kid. What? I am the only one you can do it to. You're looking at the only guy. <laughs> Woo! That felt good. My prior record was 138. <laughs> and that was, I believe, 177. Rock and roll. That is pretty awesome. That's so fun to do that, right? So fun to do that. Yeah, it, it, you know what, Rare Breed? I literally think that's what the developer's inspiration was. Super Jump vibes from Super Mario RPG because this game was heavily inspired by that And that's totally what I think of with that too like absolutely You know good runners are gonna have to be able to hit hundred and seventy seven there I didn't do any damage to botanical horror that means that to kill you're gonna be required to do a basically hundred and eighty if you want to do that fight the right way and so far, I, I think I'm the only one who can do it. Only one I've seen, one shot at least. And so at least I can feel good about that, right? Wow, look at that time save. I didn't even notice. Two minute, 30 second time save. Very nice. Okay. I seem to remember having a really bad Dweller of Woe. I know I did, remember? We got probably a multi-minute time save here. If we can just have people not die. People were dying left and right. It was really bad. Okay, here we go. Less dying, more winning. That's our game plan now. First unbreakable lock always is. Uh, okay. So that it's basically so they can call in their two specters. So it's intentionally designed to not be able to break it. I really enjoy the the music in this fight. Lovely how she chose to only attack two there, and not three. You see that? <laughs> Thank you, Erlina. 
It's so funny how these other characters are really important to the fight, but they often just do stupidity. They do really stupid things. <laughs> and this is going so much better than the last fight already. It took like a minute to get rid of the mirror images yesterday. Nice defend. So we'll have to accept this. Although that'll eliminate a lot of the moon. Damn, I needed one more. Too bad. It's alright. Reduce power, it should be good here. Okay. Good, Erlina. Finally, thank you. That's the big move there. We like that one a lot. Okay, uh, we can at least eliminate some of this. No, more of them. Ouch. Never seen her call them in twice. That's too bad. Oh, only one now. That's alright. That's alright. We can handle that. We might kill it here. Excellent. That was such a good phase one. Big fan of that. This guy needs another PBR, too. Once again, priority number one, don't let people die. Often can't be anything we can do about it, though. And here, we'll just break the most we can to reduce the power. It's hurt. Got him. Got him. Nice. Good defend. Uh, let's go ahead and hold the rune. I'm going to play risky here. We can get a heal from Erlina, too. Um, okay... Again, playing kind of mean here. Can't break that. Unbreakable lock. Good defense. We're gonna have to heal now. Watch, right when I heal, Erlina will heal on her own. You know it, right? Oh, nice. Good job, Erlina. Keep that coming. I needed that combo right now! I was an idiot, and I got a little too hasty here. Can be helped out, but Brugaves would need to do his attack. Uh, oh, we have a combo. I need a turn. Okay, we actually can break this. Lovely, that was just in the nick of time. No, Moraine! Fuck you. I needed Valir to have a turn. That's too bad. Okay, let's go ahead and Crested Arcade. Better than Moonerang here. I th sometimes. It's definitely faster. A Moonerang can do up to like 7 to 800. Especially later into the fight. I think we definitely decide to heal here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whoa. Thank you, Erlina. Reminds you of Anima? Does it really? I never got those vibes, but I totally feel ya. Definitely scary. <clears throat> Good. There's the move. I don't like his physical. It's kind of a shitty attack. 
gone quite capably, though. Quite well. Now we got the rune for more damage, is what that does. Okay, got one at least. Uh, let's go ahead and... Attack. Just waiting for the lock to come out here. No? Not in the mood to lock it? No, had to be. Valir. Oh, God damn it. Good job, Brew Gaves. Wow. Okay. Uh, heal. This has gone so well, all because of the the uh, Erlina Brigade situation, really laying it on thick. We're gonna get a Moonerang here? Yeah. But I don't want to do it through a lock. You want it outside of the lock. And this is really gonna do a lot. So we want to do it as much as we can. You can't do 177 on this. It's way too close. You're lucky to get 20. Okay. Uh, hold the room. Nice. Look at the damage increase here. First lock I could break. Legitimate. Well, yeah. There's another one I could have broken if I handled it better. Uh, hold the rune. Tiny damage. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and do the Moonerang first. With no boost. We need some help on the lock. Uh, from Erlina and Brucaves, though, and that often is the case in this fight. Excellent fight! Wow. I don't have a split for uh, Demon of uh, of Woe, but I sure probably ought to have one. That fight felt really, really good to me. Hey, Jay, how you doing? PBR me, bartender, por favor. Hmm. Well, we got the Cataclysm at Brisk and then the Vespertine. I love the Vespertine, a lot of fun. Sliced through it yesterday quite well. And then Stormcaller, and we'll figure out how we're, uh, if we're gonna save or lose any time. But I think we were, we're on the save time trend after that fight. Now, what is my inventory like? We are going to go shop. Ah, never mind. We can shop in Brisk, that's right. Okay, that needs to go into my notes. Shop in Brisk. Shop. 
shop in Brisk. Okay, excellent. And didn't lose any time. Good. Well, cheers, guys. To a great start to our Sunday Sea of Stars. Very enjoying this today. It's nice when you get to the point where you can just enjoy a run, right? Rather than stress about the run. Alright, sell all gems, buy our Chaudrys and our hearty stews. Uh, four, three, we buy anything else? No, we're out, okay. Well, items, yeah. It's because we have so much inventory, good, that's a good thing. I've been uh, hanging on to a lot of my Chaudrys, which has been very good today. Oh yeah, Swordfish, glad you made it back. Rona's been really speeding along really well, really, really well today. We got the Vespertine coming up, very fun section. Okay, good defend. 33. I can't believe that didn't kill. I just assumed it had to. Okay, learning lesson for me there. We'll give this guy a turn and then take him out. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I was just going to put it right back. Uh, nope. Uh, here. a rest? No. Okay. Good. Got one of them out of there. Should have gone for the one with the one-timer. Not sure why I chose that. Three thirty-three. We got to get through. Okay. We need to use magic on Sarai clearly here. Uh, phase shiv me just to make sure that we kill. Don't want that debacle again. Okay. Cool. Done. Way better than yesterday. Way better than yesterday. That was just steady. Steady Eddie, baby. Really got a vibe going today, finally. Through three hours. Love that.
Well, good. I was four minutes behind W.R. on Ramaya. I pulled back two on Botanical Horror. And I bet I pulled back another couple on through that uh, Erlina Brugave's fight. That was so good. Gotta remind me to add in a Dweller of Woe Split. I need that. Yep, I think we're ready to leave. Okay, tons of inventory. For a great Vesper teen section, huh? That's the objective. Well, rock and roll time. Four fights you gotta take out here. Oh, I should be grappling that. What am I doing? Grappling the ladder from farther away. Hi guys, how are you doing? <clears throat> I can hold on to the sunball, I guess. Eliminate the attack. Try to get our timing down right away. Good. Not good. leave that out there. I don't think we need it here. 40, if, I, if I'm wrong, I'm going to be kind of mad. 47. Oh, easy. <laughs> oh, man. Really hurting on Garl. Stop it. He's our fave. Stop it, I say. Oh, come on. <laughs> nah, okay, I thought that was Garl. <laughs> Looks like he's being mean now, man. Being mean now, man. Wait. Oh, yeah, we go downstairs, of course. Oh, you know what? What is this? Oh, it's a Chaudhry? I haven't been getting that. Oh my goodness. That's massive. Uh, we don't need it, except skills uh, nourish on guard. Sixty, come on! Oh, dude, I should have targeted one of the others. I was hundred percent sure I would kill. Too bad. Okay, should have gone with Valir, I guess. She must be a little better. No way, man! What the the, the focus is so hilarious sometimes, man. It's pretty hilarious sometimes. It's random. I'm at the point where I'm convinced it's random, but it can be a little, a little head scratching. Okay. 
good. They both got a one. They have like two health each. I just need an AoE. Okay. <laughs> Some fights are just make you laugh. <clears throat> they just make you laugh. That's uh, how it goes. Okay. Items. Uh, let's go ahead and hardy stew it. Hardy stew it, and uh, let's get. Okay. That was a soul rend. Is that? Is it this guy? Oh, the locks are often infuriating when they stack like that. You, you might misinterpret who it is, and it can kill your run. Sometimes it can be really uh, problematic, actually, because you you know some fights are so you know bite your you know you know edgy your seat tight that uh, not interpreting the lock correctly can be the difference between death and non-death. No kill, really. Ten, huh? Okay. Very show three fight, all ranged. I'm going to do something different today. Let's hurl you, buddy. First time I've tried this. Okay. Of course, on the same person, so they insta die. <laughs> Gotta love that, right? Okay, good. Uh, swap in Valir now. Actually, Moonerang could be pretty pog here. Let's check that out. Oh, so far away. So far away. They're weak to magic. This could be intriguing. We do have a rest after this fight, so we just need to unload everything we have. Nice. And the win. Hey, Dizzle. I'm really glad. Downloaded Sea of Stars today for your 10-year-old Immediately down to the, downloaded the game after the demo. Nice, love that. I'm feeling kind of squishy. Give me some health. And you're both excited to try it out. Cool, dude. Enjoy. It's a lovely game. You're gonna have a great time. So is your ten-year-old. I think that's certainly old enough to appreciate the game. Don't you guys think? Ten years old. Probably the perfect age. Yeah, I think I agree. Uh, 
All right, time for our three uh, three lightning rods. We gotta take out. Should be full heal. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. Our first encounter that is hopefully free. Cool. Third one we have to accept, I believe. on the block. Cool. I haven't tried this on these fights yet. Let's see what it does. These are undead enemies. I would have to imagine it does quite a lot. Maybe I've been missing the play here for a while. Looks pretty good to me. Looks pretty good to me. Shouldn't be another fight either. That, that can be it here. In fact, I think each section only has to have one fight. If done, you know, perfect. I've been noticing it's easier to do it from this side, apparently. Yeah, a little less risky, but obviously time loss. I do it from the top side. It's a farther path to the stairs, though, by quite a bit. You can see the trade-off. And that was a fucking perfect section. You know what I love today? It's just there's been a lot of perfect sections, right? For the very first time. It's been cool to see. Definitely making progress today. Yeah, I think you'll enjoy it too, Dizzle. Play, play the game 100% too. Almost everyone who enjoys it 100%s it and has a great time doing it. Getting the true ending and... Uh, and all that neat stuff. The, uh, the side questing at the end you do for 100% is a ton of fun too. I can definitely attest to that. I've done a little bit of it, not all of it, and they're worth your time. For sure. Yeah, platinum trophy, here I come. I like it. Okay, we'll just kill this one. Because I've been bad, although I like to kill it, just get it out of the way, really. And it's fairly fast, and I gotta run through here again. It would be a double skip here. I think that'll definitely kill. <clears throat> and then we shouldn't get another encounter in this section.
Okay, got it. Now for the final one. You're moving in the dark there, and I just overshot it. Oh, man. Alright. Um, okay. Actually... I think I was caught by this one yesterday, too. I need to test that one out. I actually looked at that one offline, and that's what you do, but I guess I was... did not quite do it perfect. Handled this really well, Joe. Welcome on in. Very happy Sunday. How you doing? All right, we're done here. And so, just the north with one encounter it should only be the one. It's interesting, it leaves you in a different position as you after the, the little cutscene there than where Valir was. And this next one's all about lock breaking. It's a pretty complex fight in terms of the locks. But I do believe they're always the same. Alright, not what I was expecting here. Okay, we can do this. Get rid of one soul rent. Or otherwise damage can get out of control here. Ouch. That was not a good defend. Oh, come on. Don't attack. Don't attack, uh... Sarai. Good defending. Okay, we're getting you out of here, uh, my dude. Holy, that ain't good. Okay. That'll do. Should take them both out. <clears throat> oh, nice. Well, nice one quite quite capably now. Cool. Excellent fight, actually. Just gotta avoid the very final one. We're done. This one right here. No problem. We got that one. You could grab it before you run to the little rampart above it, you know, from where you jump. It just occurred to me. Uh, 
Alright. I feel like I didn't really ha do great in this section. But, you know, there's just being better from one run to the next, too. And I wonder if maybe this was just a little better, even though I... I wasn't great at, at avoiding two encounters I could've. <clears throat> one of them I kinda like to kill, to be fair. But another we could've avoided. But what I've been enjoying today is when I'm getting into fights, for the first run ever, I'm handling them really, really efficiently. And so I'm not as mad about it today. Not nearly as mad about it. About the extra stuff. Stormcaller, such a fun fight. Lunar Ring is your best DPS here. So we'll get boosting out there for the first lock break. What do we got? Uh, okay, nothing. So let's go ahead, actually. Uh, sure. Max boost out there. What's your lock, sir? Thank you. I might have done another boost there since Moonerang is our best weapon for this fight. Okay, not bad. Uh, give me you. Non boosted, want to leave it out there. Well, we will need to do that, yeah. Easy break. Uh, no, no, no. Caught it. In time. Oh, I don't have a mallet. Oh, no. Did I miss my double tap? Oh, shoot. Okay, alright. We'll have to take a ruler of the tides here. A little snafu. Which is not awful. As long as I hit this right, we'll get more MP on uh, Valir. Hard to time, though. Okay, got two of them, that's good. Okay. Hit him with our best weapon again. Oh god, I gotta need to start using these combos, buddy. Nice! Holy shit! <laughs> Leave that out there. Start getting MP back. Okay. There's not going to be anything we can do here. Uh, let's just go ahead and get... Damage in here. Oh, that was terrible. I've never used that in the fight before. Hmm. Not loving these these time losses here. But we need to hit this defend. Excellent. That made up for it. Okay. Because I got my sunball back. This 
is a different move, actually. What is this? I don't know what move this is. This isn't Ruler of the Tides, is it? Chain Lightning. Oh, I'm dead! Oh my god, Garl lived! Holy shit, he lived! Hardy stew me. He had 8 HP. Okay. Let's go. I'll be happy with this, considering we're gonna survive it. We this has been a poor fight. We should have done better here with the lock breaking. But we will not die now. We'll be fine. Now is about winning. Funny, we're still gonna save a buttload of time. We should have saved probably two more minutes here. I want to. I, I really think at least a minute. At least a minute on the locks. I let Sarai's MP get away from me. This is what happened. Still not in there, really. throw everything I got at you. Oh, there's the kill, Garl. You deserve that. Because you're the one who lived, allowing that fight to uh, hang in there. Good job, Garl. Hey, Utaku, how you doing? Well, there's been a couple things in the run I've been unhappy with. My Stormcaller fight. I feel like I'm not happy with that. A couple of the encounter skips in that section. I'm not, not not unhappy with, but we'll get them eventually. I like how I handle them, though. And there was one other thing I really didn't like today. What was it? I think it was Romaya. It was the Romaya section, right? Where I got a bunch of encounters I really didn't want. So those two things... Notwithstanding, everything else has been so much cleaner today. Now, we do get a minute 40 second break when we head to Mirth. If you guys need to go grab a drink or get some food real quick. And we're not that far away from the four minute break. I don't take a break usually until the four hour mark in the run. Just gotta white knuckle it until then. Ready, baby. better at sailing today. Yeah. Quite better, actually. Very nice. It's much more oh, oh, west than I ever give it credit for, than north. And so here's the uh, mirth break. If you guys really need to take a minute to go hit the restroom or something.
I'm back from my bathroom break. How are you guys doing? Hey, Hofro. Good timing. Glad you made it. Didn't we die to one in three or two in four? You guys remember? If we didn't die, I remember one of those fights went really, really poorly to the point where I was so unhappy with it. <laughs> I think I was almost debating resetting, right? I want to say that's a thing. But I don't know. We've done three runs now. By run number four, they can kind of blend together. Couple more scenes, and then we're off to the jungle path. And one in three. Didn't I get caught yesterday? By an encounter I really, really didn't want? Yeah, I think I did. But, uh, they aren't that hard to kill here. Enjoy mirth. Such a such a lovely section. Headmaster Moraine time. Watch out, cover your eyes, kids. He's getting naked. off the sleeves, what a man. Hey, W. Yeah, tearing those sleeves on. Da -na 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 -na. Appreciate the three months, W, and very happy Sea of Stars Sunday. Glad you made it. How goes your Sunday, my friend? How is everybody's Sunday doing? You're also you're just you're all vibing today. You guys are being very quiet though. Pretty chill birthday day all around. Oh, big day, your birthday. GG, cause for a celebration. <clears throat> Happy 29th birthday, you lucky dog. It must be nice to be so young. I know just how that feels. 29's a good age, right? Am I right or am I right? Shh. It's our little secret W. 
My favorite music here. Shout out to Reese. Reese, what's his name? Reese Wilson? Reese Miller? Reese Miller. And Eric Brown, right? Didn't I, like, ridiculously get caught by this guy yesterday? I feel like I... Nah, there's no way. That'd be insane. Your 11th, 29th birthday. Oh, nice. So many 29-year-olds in this, uh... In this community, love it. Remembering this today, no hesitation, right? That's an encounter skip. Just fucking schmoovin' today. One and three, next. Hesitation is defeat. Yes, it is. This is what caught me yesterday. That's what it was. Oh, God. I nearly got caught again. This isn't worth it. It's a super fast encounter to kill, by the way. Wait, can you climb up the vine all the way there? Did I just realize that? For the first time. That you can actually... Across the right side? Huh. I'll have to relook at that. Oh, you can! Oh, you can totally avoid that fight. Fuck me. Uh, yeah, we're at full health. Alright, one in three time. Let's go. <clears throat> I mean, we did avoid it, but you can, I think you can just completely even avoid having to skip it. And here we go. Focus on three. Oh, I remember why- I think we died here, guys. <laughs> Pretty sure we did. I remember I didn't disorient to begin, and it went really south, I think. But that might have been two runs ago, so here we go. So your objective is to ignore one. And focus three here. Ouch. A little tricky moonerang though. Okay, not amazing. Get our disorient back. We'll take the V attack. Good. Okay, I will do that for you. You're welcome. Don't want to lose anyone here. This fight can go really south in that situation. Okay, let's get some boosting out there. Um, you know what? We're going to bring in Garl here. Garl the tank. Okay. Come on, attack. Good. Oh, well, working toward the Vesper team. You guys are going to see uh, Vesper team cannons most likely to end this fight. Kind of hoping it's a one two punch. Nice. That's my sunball. Nailed it. Lovely. Thank you, sir. Really doing our bidding for us there. Uh, okay. Darn it. Don't have... Oh, okay. Uh, yep. We can... Well, no. No point in breaking that. That's right. What am I thinking? Of course. We ignore the lock. We literally can't break it. Nice. Now we can definitely break it.
Okay, disorient for the ult. Here you guys go. Enjoy. Uh, and I'll leave that out there. I'm probably gonna Vesper Team Cannon it here. This is just for swag. Just for the swag. <laughs> because he's almost dead. <laughs> it's a total time waste. Do you, do you remember how long this took, Pine? Pine tested these out today. Don't do this at home, kids. Not not a speedrun good idea. And this is so that you guys get one Vesper Team Cannon in your run. That's literally all it is. <laughs> yeah. 25 second time loss. We'll take those. We'll take those. And split late. Fuck yeah. Link to Karia time. Let's go. Love this section. Some of the best music and a really fun section, too. I think Ant Sudlow and Lake Dakaria are my favorite part of the run. Make it up by nuking the Dweller of Dread. I hope so. That's my 10 to 15 minute time save. We died there. Last night. It's in the final hour of the run. It's a tough one. It's a tough death to take. But I kept trucking and still got a nice PB with it. Do we need to rest? Yep. One encounter in here. <clears throat> and that's it. But there is one forced encounter. Right her. And so we'll break one lock. and a little love tap to clean up. off here had to re run around not gonna do that today gonna be perfect today <clears throat> hopefully my gill situations better as well 
Got a shop coming up we gotta do here. Did I just... Yeah, back, back to Lake Dakari. I, could, I always get confused here. I'm like, did I backtrack? But uh, you're all good here. Got to return to the lake. For the new whirlpool. To open up. our chest immediately. I think we can eliminate this eventually, though. This is pretty time-consuming. That is important. That's 140 there. And buys you a lot of Bula Base. We love Bula Base. And we'll get new weapons for the boy and the girl. After the cutscene. Should have done this uh, shopping after. I'm going to have to run back out into the shop now. I thought this was the shop. This was my mistake. Do I say nay to new weapons? That would be very ballsy. There are no fights in this upcoming section. And we'd have to take on two and four without anything upgraded. But a phosphorus lid for Garl. Hmm. A little food for thought here. I think you could reasonably skip this if you were capable, if you knew there was a shop between now and two and four. I just don't know if there is. Well, how about a shop between now and Torment Peak? You might not even need it until then. Two and four, we can probably take on just fine. I'll go ahead and uh, backtrack to shop today. I think I could accept this, though. It would be a risky move. It'd be really, really lacking any kind of upgrade since essentially the beginning of the game. If I don't go shop here. Okay. Uh, buy for all I can buy. And I have to live with it. I would like more than that, though. I wanted six. That encounter really sucks to get caught by, too. They're all sharks. You get a shark attack. It's pretty funny. I'm gonna try to do it today. Try to avoid them again. See if I can draw them out somehow. I've been testing these live and run to see if I can skip this fight. I'm convinced there's a way. I actually am. Because they will ignore you, and you can draw them out. I don't think I am today, though. I think I'll get the back attack. That's more important for this fight. But, you know, the gate's open now. <laughs> like, what I've been <sighs> testing it out live in a run will take just too much time. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just get it. Okay. 
Uh, break lock if available. They clone here. It's, it's, it's an irritating fight, but I believe it is required. It's irritating because of this move, which isn't too bad, but... Uh, Crested Arc all three. Would be a nice one to figure out a little cheeky strat to avoid. AoE kill. No. One HP remaining on the clone. Love that. Alright, GG. Level up. What do we really need? What do we really need? How are they breathing underwater? Hey, anemone. They're, they're aqua... They're, they're Aquaman, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean, how are they breathing underwater? There's two nourishes now. That's literally their natural environment, anemone. Y you're an anemone, don't you live in the ocean anyways? You see an enemy, you? Uh, that is actually not a bad thing. I'm gonna start transitioning to MP for a little bit. side, best side. Oh, I forgot yesterday to get- oh my goodness, I lost a multiple minute- I had a multi-minute time loss here yesterday. I didn't grab the pearl <laughs> at the end, and I just ran out like it was done. <laughs> Let's actually grab the pearl today, guys, huh? What do you think? Probably sounds faster today. Sounds better. A little more optimal. Hey, Loki. Happy Sunday. How are you? There we go. Cheeky encounter skip. After I've grabbed the, the pearl. Excellent, perfect left section. Let's go. Nice, playing a little Baldur's Gate 2, huh? Good for you. What do you think? Game of the year? What's your game of the year this year? How are you liking it? Should I even go for the cheeky encounter skip here? We were trying this recently. Oh my goodness, I did it! Guys, we can skip that encounter now. We did it. Let's go. I don't think I've seen anyone skip that one yet. Haha. <laughs> Let's go, baby. That didn't even look that hard. That was just great. That was just great. Let's go, guys. Wow, what a good Aunt Sudlow. It was a perfect Aunt Sudlow so far. Loving all the perfect parts of the run today. A lot to clean up, but also, for the very first time, a lot of perfect chapters. I've never been able to say that before. Yeah, perfect as the softness of a garnet booty, you know? Kind of feels like that when you get it. Feels that good. 
Hey, Moo Guy, how you doing? Welcome on in to our lovely run here that I'm sure I'll blow at some point. This one's going too well. It's going too well. Dana, 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 dana. Hey, anemone. Hey, dirty. Thank you for the clip. Appreciate the sub. Is this game hard to speedrun? Well, I'll tell you this: when you're brand new at it, an enemy, it's really uh, very, very nerve-wracking. Is what I would say. But you know, like any run, once you get your bearings, it gets a little bit more. A little bit more relaxing, but it's definitely a hard run. Yeah, it's a hard run. It's very demanding. You're going to have to run an extremely high level and practice a ton to get to the point that you are good enough to, like... You know, for me, my goal is always world record, right? To get to that level is going to take a lot for this game. And you don't have to say that for every game, you know? It's not always true. This game will take a lot to get there. And so I would say it's one of the harder speedruns that I'm adding in. Better movement today. With the raft. Hey, Peanut. Thanks for the good luck, my friend. How are you doing, Peanut? God damn, dude. Really, really just flowing today. Just flowing. Oh, why didn't I grapple? That's an obvious grapple into the ladder, right? From farther away. Um, are we done here? Yeah, we got them both. Only one floor left. And it can be one you skip an entire cycle on. Are we about to do a perfect Aunt Sudlow? If we do this perfect, we've done it. Oh, I would feel damn fine. Um, I don't know. I don't actually know about that, Rage. I know I don't. And that's a really good point. I, sh I, I, I wonder when the unequip point is. Here's the crux of it. This has to be perfect. And it was. We're gonna get it. Perfect Aunt Sudlow today, unless I fuck up somehow. Let's go, guys. GG. That skip right there is the crux of the cycle skip. You, you skip the entire second level. It's one of the biggest skips in Glitchless. Actually, that's a massive skip in, in terms of a glitchless category. Probably a couple minute or two, which is the biggest we've found so far. I say we, but this was Craze who found this. And this is why you need that encounter. You have to be able to grapple -o. over like that, and then you skip the whole next cycle. It's very, very cool. And so, Venom Flurry here. Are we getting two clones in here? I think we are. Not gonna be a big deal, they don't have a lot of health, and we can AoE hit the whole party. 
Uh, Crescent Arcid. Can we? Yeah, all of it. <laughs> that takes so long to do. Bum, 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 bum. Nice defending. Let's go. We're going to say one HP crew uh, combo here. Very nice situation, MP restored. We are through. You can see that's a locked gate to our right. Shouldn't be able to do that. Well, you might be able to, you know, maybe they maybe they intended for that to be done, but it's a very cool find. Perfect Ant Sudlow, guys. Hell yeah. I like, I like how that sounds. Perfection today. Yeah, literally clean. I can't believe that. Not a single encounter. I bet, based on that one encounter that I did skip, I bet we can skip the one outside the door. Leading in. I bet this can be a no encounter section. But that one will take some testing. No one's found a way to skip that one from what I've seen. You know, they're literally guarding the door. And some fights in this, in this game are intended to not be skipped. Alrighty. Glacial peak time. Another section that sure can be smooth. Hey, sign. I love that slug jam. Such a such a cool emona. Oh my god. We don't want to get caught by that one. It's really ugly. <laughs> so good. Let's not. I'm gonna kill these, because we'll get them on the way out. Uh, Moonerang here. This is really good timing. Should be really quick to take them out, too. Good Moonerang. I got caught by this yesterday, too. I'm just not gonna fuck with it today. Because I think it should be a pretty easy kill. Uh, Sunball. Let's go with this guy. There's a rest coming up, so we just want to chop it down as quick as we can. And then how about a phase... Shiv. Might have disoriented and then attacked. That's probably faster than a phase Shiv. Okay, but easily got through the fight. The way down will be nice and smooth now. Um, items, give me a show Dree for a heater. This is a required fight. And so, oh, really? No timer. Usually you have to break the lock on the douche. 
put these called boulder douches. So this is looking good. If I could defend. Hey, Tirith, good to see you, me, amigo. Appreciate the 25 months. Hope you're having a great Sunday. Save your life. Well, now I didn't. Okay, Garl. Take you out. Should have attacked the one with a turn. Idiot, though. Good to see you, Tirith. Happy Sunday. We get uh, Valir back here, okay. At least, is that gonna do anything? Yeah, nothing, okay. We'll take the Icicle here. Good, good, good. And uh, we can attack. Where is my combo when I need it? That's because I'm loving the game that much, Tirith. Honestly. Is the honest reason. Just enjoying Sea of Stars speedrunning that much. We'll just leave Sarai out of the next fight, I guess. Uh, items. Maybe not. Parties do. And then one more required fight. But I feel you, four of these runs in five days is not for the faint of heart, you know? It's a lot of... a lot of time logged in. Attack Valir. I needed that for a crested arc. Uh, okay. Well, I'll just take him out the old-fashioned way, huh? A lot less intense today, I can say. Today I've been really just vibing. It's been a good day on the Sea of Stars. Okay. Rest two and four coming up here. I'm so excited to see this split. So excited. Let's go, guys. I feel like we've had a really good section. Let's just have a great two and four. Okay, we want to get- I want to build Vesper Team Cannon for this fight as well. And this needs to be a block. Has to be. It's a very punishing attack. Got it. Okay. Alright, give me you and Moonaran. Not a bad Moonaran here. Fairly even healed. Okay, nice. Very nice. That's another moon array. Okay. Some boosting out there. This is going phenomenal. Excellent. Whew. Just had been cooking here. Laying this fight to waste.
Okay. Not great, actually. Had to do that to survive, or we were dead. And we're pretty close to killing two here. And not that far from Vespertine Cannons, either. Garl, I just want you to... Just get in there to absorb the attack. Oh, nice, Anison Garl. Perfect. Here comes the Tidome. Soon. Ah! Disorient to kill! Oh, this is going phenomenal. He can't... Oh, he can't do Tidome! What a nice outcome there. Vespertine Cannon swag, here you guys go. You owe me a thank you for this regularly scheduled Vespertine Cannon 25 second time loss. For the swag kill. Yeah, and the breaks don't start until the four hour mark either. This is called the AIM Pine celebration tonight. He, he, he earned this for doing some scientific research for us today. And so there you go, Mr. Pine. Enjoy your, uh, enjoy... Oops. Cancel. And split. There we go. Look at that, four minute time save. I split that way late too. The AIM Pine Strat. Works every time. I love swag killing like that, it's so fun. Too bad it's too long, you know? We can't do that when we're trying to be optimal. Sure can on run number four, though. I mean, we're not an eternity away from our Dweller of Dread Death, you know? Probably halfway to it today. Other direction there, cool. Got a little rest in there. Oh, wait. Yeah, you do need this. Boy, I could put it on someone different today than Sarai. I always put it on Sarai. I've been debating if there are better strategies for that. Well, think about that. I might put it back on. I want it on Sarai for the Disorient, but... You know, you could definitely move it around at will in fights you don't need a disorient. You know? Too bad you can't do them both at the same time, you know? Push and... 
and turn the uh, solstice magic. And we're done here. What a clean ass section, man. Fuck yeah. Like what I saw there. Like what I saw there. Another clean section among many today. And I need a PBR. Oh, shoot. Not enough time for that, huh? Guess I'll do it walking through the door. Oh, we gotta remember now, guys, we have Rashawn. We now have access to the Great Eagle, right? Which is a pretty great move. It reses your downed, your knocked out party members. You know what I was just thinking? I could stop into Lake Dakari, right? That's such a sacred... Yeah, that's way too far. Never mind. No, no, no. I was going to say to potentially get more Bula bases. I think they're offered later on, though. So cheers! You guys are enjoying your your Sea of Stars day. Been a really fun run so far. Really chill. Just been just been vibing today. Hanging in there. So the first run, I'm like just through four hours, all enjoyment, not much stress. Now that'll turn around here as we keep going farther. We have the Dweller of Torment coming up right away, and this is a very stressful section. Okay, got the first two skips here. This is probably my least favorite section of the run due to the dark, obviously, and the fact I've never tested out the skips in here. Never have. <clears throat> so we just uh, we just take it. And yesterday we had a lovely section. I got almost most of uh, most of the skips you can get. I did get. Where is it? It's there, we got it. Excellent. Okay, that one was very important to get because we got that yesterday. This one we did not get yesterday, but I realized you absolutely could. And we did! Okay. <laughs> nice. GG. That's better than yesterday, and that's all that matters. I mean, well, it's perfect so far. I see how that easy that is now. It's comforting to see how easy that is going to be in the future. Okay. Oh man, I got the upright encounter yesterday to the pillar. That one's so tough, so tough. I think there's one more remaining that I did get. But it might be the hardest. Uh, we are at full health.
Easy, we got caught by that one yesterday. Perfect section so far. Easy. Oh, dude. Just fucking schmoovin' today. Here's the hard one. Okay, now we're halfway there. Oh my god, perfect cha- OH NO, I GOT CAUGHT ON THE WALL! It was a perfect chapter and I blew it. <laughs> well, I don't care, because this was so much better looking. One encounter ain't gonna rain on my parade. This looked very professional. Now this is gonna suck, this is probably the worst encounter to get of all of them. But, you know... That should have been skipped. I just ran into the fucking wall like an idiot. And so we're seeing a lot of improvement. That's the big takeaway. Uh, let's go ahead and... Well, that's a waste of a phase shiv, I think. It's got the flesh shield, huh? Okay, the two attack. Crescent Arcet, sure. And one, will that do 125? I sure hope so. Good, because we're resting next. And so right here, I got caught on that wall and ground it like that. Otherwise, I had it. That's too bad. But I'm totally accepting this chapter. This has been lovely. And I think we know next time this will be perfect. Absolutely will be perfect. Speedy Strat, <clears throat> the jump off there. Discovered that yesterday. Well, you're not going to see a Sarai ultimate on the next Dweller fight. It, uh, from here on out, there's really no reason to ever use it. Yeah, it's actually a bad thing on the next fight. But we, now we have Rashan for the Great Eagle. So we have a better option if we want to do an ultimate. Should go down in two cycles here. Rock and roll time, big boy. Get some boost out there. Oh yeah, we have the Sarai phase. And uh, until Sarai shows up, we just uh, get boosting out here. It has uh, no ability to attack, to, to, uh, to do damage. Now for Sarai. Alright, Sonic Pain. This is fine. Good defending. Uh, Garl, give me... a Nourish. Okay. Crested Arc. Targeting the one arm. Hope this doesn't target Valir. That'd be kind of mean. Oh, dude. Come on. Really? <laughs> I think we knew that was going to happen, right? 
Hilarious. All right. Got the defend. Okay. That was the one thing we couldn't have, and of course it happened. And now I can't break the lock to it. You know, you love that, right? I love that. Um, okay, I can break it, I suppose. And that gives me a chance to get Garl. Oh, well, actually, Valir here. Uh, do that. Okay, and we're in there now. That was kind of nice. That actually restored my MP situation, and I targeted the wrong person. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead, Sarai. We need you for the Disorient. About in there to enter the uh, damage phase. Okay. Good. Now it's just about getting our MP back. Good defend. That'll help. And boosting out there for the damage phase. Okay, that's fine. We got boosts out there. Okay. Time to start doing damage. Okay. Excellent. Uh, number one, disorient. Great Eagle after this. Oh, we don't have Rashawn yet. What am I saying? Okay. Um, skills. Uh, boosted Moonerang here, then. That's right. Rashawn's not here yet. After this. Oh, well, he can't fight Dwellers. That's right. And frankly, the Great Eagle here might be a little cheap. 666. Six, six. Oof. Items. Shodri. What does Cross Drag do here? Never tried it. Not awful. Not awful. Oh, wow, no. Okay, we can. I think I'm just gonna chill here and we'll enter the next phase. I need my MP back. We did quite a bit of damage there, that was pretty good. Oh uh, man, I wonder... No, that would be a bad... That would be a bad call here. Give me, actually, a Bula base. We need to be careful. That was a good play. Take the Sonic Pain, it will restore my MP. That's a play here, like an intentional play. Come on, baby. Five MP restored. I got four out of the five. Excellent. Calculated attack that we want. Uh, okay, that'll help a lot here, actually. Perfect. No, uh, well, okay, sure. I don't want to take this. Let's just sit him back down. No, I targeted the head. Might still kill the left. Could have killed him in tandem. Not quite. Hey, Subliminal, how you doing? There we go, dead arm of it. Time to just get boosting out there and prepare for the win on phase two. No, here. One more round of boost for the max. Okay, win time. Here we go.
Falcons have avenged 28-3. Oh, over Sunday Night Football, or is that an earlier game? Holy shit! Oh my god, did you guys just see that? 1,016 on the Dweller of Woe. Holy moly. What did I just witness? That was insane. <laughs> That, I don't think anyone will ever be able to get that many in there. That was amazing. Uh, attack. Boy, we're not winning yet? I thought we were in here. Yes! 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 Three and a half minute time save. That was a superb fight. That was superb. Let's go. You might not see many people ever, of all time, get that many moon rings. Well, zero, that's impossible to do for the mere mortal. I guarantee you that's the world record in that fight. And you cannot do 50. Like, that's only because I am the Moonerang Maester. <laughs> no one understands how I can get as many as I do. I think it is because of the way I play on keyboard, to be honest. I think I have a, a specific keyboard that really allows for it. As it's a tactical membrane keyboard, and is very responsive. That was fun, though. Fun little fight. And we'll finally get our boy Rashawn. And be able to soar that great eagle. Mm-hmm. You're using the Xbox 360 and it's the opposite, yeah. It's specifically the keyboard that I use, <clears throat> because I, I can't explain it, because no one else can do it. And so it must have to do with the, uh, the either the controller or keyboard. That was a really interesting Moon Ring, too. In the middle of it, at a specific point, I, I just committed to a transition. Where instead of trying to pace it with the Moon Ring, I went as rapid fire as I possibly could. It was exactly on the 40th, when I just went -da 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 -da, as fast as I could. And it appeared to work. But I wonder if you can figure out exactly when that transition point might need to be. To try and try and do it every you know more often. Well, we've made some really interesting Moonerain. I wouldn't say discoveries today, it's not the right word for it, but like, insane moonerings that can occur. You know, we one-shot a botanical horror if you missed it. I hit him 177 times today, which beat my current record of 138. I blew it out of the water. I probably could have gone to a thousand if I felt in the mood and it allowed me to, but it ends it. It ends it on your final killing blow, and so you can't go farther. Exactly, Poofy. But only on Botanical Horn. And I think on that fight right there, I discovered. Um, actually, too. But that fight is not intended to allow you to continue like the bot Like, in my opinion, the Botanical Horror is intended to allow you to continue. It's like the one fight that is, that, you know, the developers wanted to imitate the Super Jump. Right? That's really what I think they were going for. And I don't think there was supposed to be another.
But, you know, we're, we're still learning a lot about the game, right? Very fun section coming up, the Leaf Monster. The upcoming section, Mesa Island, might be my second favorite in the run. A land of copious encounter skips, too. Which I think went okay yesterday, but not like amazing, but it did go pretty well. <clears throat> so we're just looking for an equally smooth section. Lanxion. Welcome on in, my friend. Hope you're having a good Sunday. Well, we're going to encounter a two-time spiky ball fight to begin, which you can skip. I have one time. I just have never tested these ones out. Oh, apparently not. Okay. Um, actually, that seemed non-skippable. It literally locked me into it. And so that might be the next... I think that's the next fight I'm thinking of. Wow, what do we have left? <laughs> one, one HP. <laughs> All right. Good, level up. What am I really feeling like I lack? We're coming up onto Skyland soon, which means I will need HP on Zale. I sure hope we get an option for that. Yep. Keep pumping the disorients there. Rashawn, um, we'll go, I guess we'll go magic attack. For the great eagle. HP, lovely. Okay, thinking about Skyland there. That's all what that was for. The hardest part of the route, the tightest. It is very deleterious to your health. Um, equip? Who has the Signet of Clarity? Let's do that. Hey, Aurelian. Appreciate the follow. Hope you're having a good Sunday. Very skippable encounter. where we get arcane moons too by the way a really important skill that we will absolutely want to get the uh, the scroll for really important for the dweller of dread the one I had such a problem with last night Okay, what do you got for me? Buy, uh, give me, ooh, five of those and two of those.
Nope, no, no, no. Okay, good. Gotta do this section in a particular way. Dropping the ladder. Good section so far. That's a conch over there. We say no to rainbow conches. And this fight we must kill. Okay. <clears throat> we need to abeyance them so they're all together. This is a risky fight, by the way. It's a very risky fight. You have to be good at defending here. This is the attack. The nasty attack, and here comes another. Right? Oh, dude. Okay. I needed Rashawn not to die, and he died. And we don't have, oh my goodness. Okay, we're gonna Bula base here. We just gotta hang in here until we can get Rashawn back, pretty much. Nothing else I can really do. This mirror attack is just brutal. Absolutely brutal, okay. So now, let's hit him with the boosted sunball. Okay, now we're making progress. Now, now we're looking good. Better defending today, too. Rashawn, well, thank you, buddy. Okay, uh, Garl. Excellent fight, actually. Excellent fight. Very nice. Uh, there you go. GG. Just for the gill there. If it's really close, I'll grab it at hand. I kinda, I'm actually a fan of that. Later in the run, gill can become a real scarcity. No, we're looking great. No need to do anything. I think that's like a question pack or a music pack. Nothing we need there. That's four gill, eight gill, twelve gill. No, fourteen gill. Gold, that is. Okay, here we go. Got him, yeah. That's okay. I don't really mind on this one. I get caught here usually. Actually, uh, here. No! <laughs> Obviously, I meant to attack the guy on the right. So what is his move? Well, oh, I hate Quill Shot. That'd be my least favorite move in the entire game, actually. I don't know what these guys are vulnerable to. Uh, today I need to learn that. It might be Venom. Poison for... Survive it. I'm not sure. Okay, that's pretty good damage. Uh, give me you. Oh, where's Sarai? Oh, we don't have her here. That's right. Uh, okay. 
That better get through the lock. 54. Oh, good, okay. I actually think I skipped this encounter last night. This will be a painful one. Pretty long. Quite long. Oh no, you can climb up, right? Right, game? Seriously, game? Okay, good. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. It looks like you're in line and you're not. Gotta love that. Well, that was one of the first bad fights we've had in a long time. It's been nothing but just perfection for a long, long while here. I do think we get a rest before the next encounter. I, I sure hope. I think we do. Just cannot get caught. That was really risky there. If I did get caught, I was probably going to be die. And we'd be forced to redo the whole section. Like, literally from the start of the chapter. That's how you're punished in this game. If you usually, if you die, you don't die on the screen that you die on. They send you back to the very beginning. So cool. Made it through to the rest. And that brings us to the leaf monster. Rashawn can break the double venom with a normal attack. A boosted normal, right? Has to be boosted, right? Because otherwise it's arcane, isn't it? And if that's true, that is good to know. I've been forgetting that today. You know, I ain't perfect yet. No boost needed? Really? Rashawn's just poison, huh? I didn't know that about Rashawn. But he's also arcane. Like, he's both. Yeah, the boost is the arcane. Got it, okay. Hm. I did. I literally didn't, know, didn't actually remember that. And we're good to go. Yeah. Okay, um, well, I don't love this, actually. This is a really mean lock. It's gonna waste my MP and be an unoptimal turn. It won't push him back twice, because it's a magic attack. Oh, good, he gave me a turn, though, to make up for it. Excellent, okay. Perfect opening here. Uh, okay... Sunball. Valir doesn't even get an attack here. That's too bad. Well, I'd better phase shift then to get some damage in, as I can't Moonerang. That's the best DPS in this fight. Okay. I'll do. Here comes the leaves back. Come at me, bro. Nope. Get out of here. Get that shit out of here. I should have broken that. But I think he does. He loses his lock, right? Yeah, so it wouldn't have mattered. I'm not going to heal Valir. We're just going to push because we're pretty close to the wind. In fact, a really good Moonerang might come fairly close. Forty-three. Okay. He is weak. Don't attack Valir, though. That would just be rude. That would be every turn this whole fight. Okay. Very good.
Got him and the lock. Probably the win here. Certainly here. I think he'll die as soon as I hit the final blow, so we just need to keep going until he's dead. And it'll stop me itself. On solo enemies, it'll do that. On more than one enemy, it will not stop on its own. Yeah, what a nice leaf monster. Good. Now, it's still ticking down. Looks like that one encounter was extra here. And so I'll split that. Oh, it did split. Okay. There we go. Excellent! Guys, you made it to the hallelujah. First break of the run, four minutes right here. And so Rashawn does two poison plus one arcane on the boost. Man, I'm so glad you guys helped me out like that. I didn't know that. Like, that's literally helped for me. So thank you. Well, there's a four minute break. I'm about ready to pop. I'm gonna go hit the restroom, refill the water. I'll be back in a sec. Thanks for hanging out, guys. If you're enjoying the Sea of Stars run, do drop a follow. If you want to stay up to date on the community, we hang out all in Discord. It is the only way to stay up to date with the stream, too. And I upload all of our runs to YouTube, so do go drop a subscribe. I'll be back in a couple. All right, I am back. 
Hey, Dreamer, how you doing? Thanks for the feed me and the hydrate. Appreciate you. Hope you're having a good Sunday, my friend. I will get a PBR. Thank you. And maybe a banana. Something like that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bam Blue Slicer for Sarai real quick, or for... for Zale. Only because it's so fast. Otherwise, it's not much of a boost, really. Another fun little section here. And a money boost, that is so true, yeah. I forget what this is. I guess I'm getting it. The leaf cape for Sarai. It's only plus three defense. But it is gill, and it's so quick. I like where your head's at with that, the gill thing. Get out of here! Get out of here! Hey, Gallion. How you doing? Welcome on in. Very good to see you. Is that right, Eternal? That's cool. Nicely traversed room. That was perfect. First time I've done it, perfect. I don't think you should get an encounter in here ever. Oh, super jump! Um, to, yeah, over here. What am I doing? <clears throat> nope, uh, now we go to night. Better. Better than yesterday. Go! Good. Oh, that's you, Anchor. I forgot, you're the one who was trying to find every skip you could. Yeah, welcome on in. Happy Sunday, how you doing? Hope you're having a good one. You've been having, you've been doing a lot of work on Glitchless, my friend. Or Glitched. Anchor's been putting in tons of work. He's been the, the the skip meister for New Game Plus and glitched skips. Good to have you around here. I'm definitely focusing on glitchless. You know me. I'm a glitchless guy. They're all on the speed the sabotage speedrunning Discord pine. If you join that, and the link is probably on our, our, our Discord, on the Sea of Stars channel. You have a hundred hours in the game? Oh, what a noob. I already have 300. Jeez. And you call yourself a Sea of Stars runner. <laughs> I kid, I kid, I kid, I kid. That's just how silly I've been. These 10 hour speedruns get you deep in no time.
Uh oh. Oh no, I did get the spirit of ninja. Good. No, I, I, I'm kidding with you, Anchor. <laughs> you've been a uh, you've been an asset to the community. in on health. Oh, she has a fire here, huh? You do have excellent backseating contributions. I agree. Some of the best on Twitch. I, I agree. All right, Anchor. Take care. Thanks for stopping in. Always good to see you. <clears throat> you love the mushrooms that sing here? Me too, man. Me too. I don't believe you can, and you can get this fight, but I don't think they aggro you unless you get really close. Clockwork Castle. Really, really moving today. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, no, sir. Too fast for you. Say no to the the extra weapon for Garl to the right, to the left here. For a plus six attack. In fact, I'm going to delete it from my notes now. <clears throat> okay. And now we're Bur Bur Brugave's Erlina. Which I don't remember how it went. Here we go. It's all about the lock breaking. And it's very debatable about who you want to focus on. Okay, first move. Defending so important here. Got it. Get boost out there for the for the incoming locks. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and we don't have any ability to break this. Lovely. Okay, we'll just do what we can. 
Could have broken Br Brew Gaves, but I don't really care about him quite as much as taking out Erlina. She can heal the, their party. Actually, I couldn't have broken that. We didn't have a combo. Never mind. Okay. Uh, we can at least reduce its efficacy. I'm not loving the start here, though. Ouch. Okay, that was not great. Another round of locks here. Okay, uh, excellent. We can do this. Do them both. And then probably heal after. Really leaning on the Moonerang here. And we need to restore our MP. Okay. No, leave that out there. We want the boosts out there. Okay, that is one we can break. No, we can't. We can just weaken it. Be the best we can do here. Um, you know what? I'm gonna accept it and we'll go a Peach Strudel. I'm, I'm really risking here. I'm hoping it's a heal. Uh-oh, someone's dead. Oh god. Here comes Brugaves to kill someone. Oh man, yeah. Okay. Hardy stew is all I got. We're taking two attacks to the face here. Heal? No. Nope. Ouch. Here comes a moon shockus. It's gonna be just defense for a minute. Okay. Oh boy, I don't know about this. I think I need to hardy stew it. I think I ha- we're taking two more attacks before Zale's back. Okay, good. The healing rain's kinda nice to allow Zale to come back here. Okay, welcome back, buddy. Now... Okay... Let's do another one. We'll do a double boosted combo here. And just take whatever Alina's gonna get come our way. Oh boy. Got them both. Finally. Okay. Now we can start laying some damage in there. It is. You have to be patient with it, is why. And I'm often impatient. I'm jumping the gun. Okay. <sighs> Uh-oh, someone's dead again. This is where it gets really bad. It's really bad here. Oh my goodness, this is my final healing item, too. This is get it. If we can't kill someone immediately here, we're in a world of hurt. Okay. Um. Yes, that's a good thing here. Might bring Zale back. It will. Okay. Excellent. Uh. Go ahead and get that in there. Don't kill me, please. No. De dead again. <laughs> Just brutal, man. Brutal. Alright, uh, here we go. I'm gonna hit him with everything I got, because I have to, like, start going all in. Erlina's hurt. I think. I need her to go away. Oh my god, he has four stars? We're dead here. Uh, we're dead. If I can't kill Erlina, we are absolutely fucked. Oh, and we're fucked anyway, I can't heal. Yeah, we're just dead here. Fuck. What a bummer, man. This is the end of the run. If I die, I'm probably not continuing. 
I just ha I have no choice. I gotta go balls to the wall and pray someone dies. Is my only strategy. Okay, Erlina did. Okay, uh, but I'm not. No, I just have nothing to heal. I have a hearty stew. Oh my god, I might have just enough to survive. Oh baby, blocking this will be so vital. Got it. Ooh. We're gonna survive. <laughs> by the... By just the fucking tip of our toenails here. GG. Mm-hmm. Just surviving is so important here. Yes. Yes. And yes. We actually save time. Ay ay ay. That was the run death if I couldn't survive. Let's go. Okay, we get a full health refresh, thank god, right? Alright, now we can get comfy. And get back to vibing, let's go. Hardy stew emote when? Yeah. Twenty-three. Okay, good. Wasn't sure if that would do it. Hardy stew saving the saving the day. And out. Okay. We'll just kill these guys. You have to eventually. And break the lock of the cuckoo clock. Okay. I'll allow him another turn. I just want to get my MP back. I'll allow that, sir. I'll allow that. Valir is by far our best in here, huh? I need to be... And also, I don't know why I have Sarai in the party. We're gonna get her out of there. That's how you avoid it. First time ever that I've avoided that one, and I was like, oh, well, how about we stop being an idiot and do this the fast way, huh? GG. That's how you do it, baby. That's how you do it. Left first. No, it's this first. No, yes, yeah, this. Yeah, it is left first. Okay. And then there.
And then, uh... Oops. Is that faster? Oh, it is faster. Oh, that's the fastest way to do this. Way less movement. Nice. That's cool. I found that out by accident. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right on. Nice. Write it in the notes. What the Hardys do? Or are they grappling the, the ladder? I'll never forget that again. That was obvious. Now that I see the way, I'll never forget that. And I'll grab a banana. Get some calories in me tonight. <clears throat> Floor climb to the clockmaker. As we work our way to the four acolytes in tandem. Do the left room for the evergreen leaf here for Skyland. <clears throat> Maybe someday avoiding this, but not today. It's plus 30 HP and oops. So far is uh, sure looking required to get through Skyland in one piece. But this is uh, quite a bit of time, right? You know, you gotta, you gotta make sacrifices for safety. <clears throat> Might be a minute time loss there, right? Not awful. I think very acceptable, and I think actually probably needed for Skyland. Definitely helps. That area is so scary. Not for the faint of heart. Uh, we have a force fight. Okay. So just give me it. There we go. Um, and what are we doing? Attack with a boosted moonerang. Okay. Uh, give me, oops, uh, here, give me Rashan. I need to kind of test these out a little more, these fights. <clears throat> I know the Solstice uh, Warriors will kill the middle guy. That's required. Can't get all three in there? Really? Alright, fine.
Yeah, an abeyance start might be good. Get them all in there. Not an awful play. Oh, ha what are we, one under here? I'll do this just because it'll teach me to do abeyance next time. Oh, it is vulnerable. So, yeah, Rashawn too. Cool. Okay. Where was Rashawn's turn there? Um, uh, switch first. No, you don't need to do that again, buddy. There we go. And three. And that's it. Well, it's almost it, actually. Mm, I got caught in a fight yesterday here. Do I want the blue leaf today? That's what you're getting here. I believe you can get this. Let me see if that's true. Yeah, it, the, the Grappolo is a complete jibate. <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay. If you Grappolo, it, it, it gets into an encounter. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent today. Wait, how do you get out? Oh! To get out, you have to activate the floor. I see, I see, I see. Okay, so it must be activated. We learned a little bit there, actually. Interesting. And you see how easy it is to not get the encounter. That's worth getting. That's an extra 5 on Zale. MP straight up plus 5. We're going to already put this on him. And on Rashawn, we'll go... Uh, who has this? Take that off. And we're preparing for Skyland already. I like to get it all wrapped up right here. Nice, good section. Felt good. No encounter there today. I skipped at least two, huh? I can think of one. I can definitely think of one. Oh, you're right. That one that I grappled with the ladder. Yeah. Very good point. Extremely good point. Oh, we gotta talk to Kale first. Okay. Well, I need a PBR. And a good ass Alkalite fight. Here we go. Another split coming in to confirm or deny how well that section went. I target two first. You might see a, uh, a great eagle in this fight, too. And so cheers to hopefully some Acolyte time save. Okay, Crescent Arc, Crescent Arc first here. Sunball. As we target two. 
I like to bring in Garl for a cooker surprise, actually. Good defend. Or I need to defend, too. Might need a Petricor here. It'll also build up the... Yeah, we will need to. Very good defending, though. That'll help build the Great Eagle, which is really nice. Really nice. We okay, got the double tap on that. The boosted Petricor. Excellent. Excellent. That restores our MP. That's why we love that there. This is going phenomenal so far. Just how you draw up the intro. Got it. Beautiful. Got it. Uh-huh. Okay, uh, give me... We're gonna play a little careful here. Got the sandwich. Got the boost. Excellent. Not the tomato. Can boost your item, Nourish. You didn't know that. Okay, I'm gonna roll, actually, a little risky. Oh, Valir. That's too risky. She probably dies here. This is very safe. I'm gonna do that. I mean, she that was a good call. She was dead. We've gotten every defend. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and now we'll moon her in. And we couldn't have broken the Moonerang. ring. That was such a great uh, pivot there. Almost got our Great Eagle. Okay. Here you go. Maybe your only cooker surprise in the run. Right here. Got the boost. Okay. Okay, I'm worried about Valir here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do this because Valir dies. This is a really hard attack coming up here. Got it back, the Sunball. Because you get your MP back there. I don't care about Garl nearly as much. Okay, give me the Sunny. Great Eagle neck. Should have Great Eagle right there, actually. Should have, but we only have one attack coming. We're fine. Ah, it's going to be on Garl to kill him. Okay. I need someone to die here. I prefer two people to die here. I do boost Zale healing. I think I just failed it, is all. Yeah. Pretty sure we're going to get two. Okay. And we got three. Yep, just how you draw. Oh, I got I got three of them. In oh my goodness, guys! I got three of them in one shot. Let's go. This is gonna be a great acolyte split. I have a good feeling about this. Oh, I blew that though. Good feeling about this. Hmm. It might have been faster than Moonerang, because the Moonerang would take too long. Four minute time save through the Acolytes. What a B-E-A beautiful section. Just how you draw that whole fucker up <laughs> from start to finish. Dana, 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 Dana. Certainly, my best alkaline fight there. But we have the Dweller of Strife coming up now next. Which I think went okay last night. But it's not a fight that you should ever really have a big problem with. We need to buy as many parfaits as we can here. I'm hoping it's going to be a, a bundle. 
Uh, a buttload of parfaits here. Four minutes. Thanks for the GG's, guys. That felt good. That felt good. Six of them. Sounds pretty good to me. I'll take it. Quite a bit. Alright, Dweller of Strife Time. Hey, Lynxian, welcome on in. Here is where you probably have to unequip Garl. You think so? Really? Yeah, totally, Moogie. I like that move. I like it a lot. I think it's a good thing to add in, for now. For now, at least. Until we have a better handle on the gill route, right? Alright, break the first lock here. Couldn't break it. Nothing we could do about it. Insta-death. Lovely. Okay, uh, Parfait. Parfait, me bartender. Okay, that's it. Literally, it's just about the laser here. Doing more does not raise it more. Probably one Sunball, although I haven't tested it, will literally do the same. We don't have a combo yet. Have to do the best we can. Getting really rude locks, by the way. Really rude. These will kill you. There's nothing you can do. And uh, haven't had a single lock we were capable of breaking yet. Okay. Here comes phase one. Three phases. Gotta get through three raising of the lasers here. Uh, okay, Garl, go ahead. Brave a turn. Rebuild the MP. Well, I will do this Moonerang two times and no moss. That's it. For the lock break. And it'll be nice to get boosting out there. Uh, combo. C -c -c combo Lock break. Easy, baby. Let's go. I'll leave that out there. I bet you one level does exactly the same as four, huh? Okay, uh, phase two almost here. This will be phase two. Probably should have done a boosted attack there. You know what we could do? Um, well, I could use an ultimate here. I mean, a, uh, a combo here. Okay. I'll have to take a turn. I don't know why I'm not attacking the Valir to be restoring her MP. That would be a much smarter thing. 
could never, I could never time that. It's a tough one. Uh, leave that out there. Moonerang it. Uno mas. Okay, almost through now. And we're through. Okay. I felt like a pretty solid phase one. Guys, we're not an eternity away from uh, from uh, our death to the dweller of woe or dread. Okay, nothing we can do there. Have to take this. So she be dead. Thank you, sir, for another unbreakable lock. Okay. Good. Save time. 14 seconds. That went quite well in the run last night, so I wasn't expecting any time saver. That's so nice. You spammed heal with Zale on this fight right here, on phase two? Maybe not on phase two. On phase one, you have to raise the, uh... You have to raise the, the pillar. That's literally all that matters. During phase one. You know, I am not perfect. And so I will not try to say that what I'm doing is the ultimate strat. But, uh, that's how I've been going about it so far. Now, this is a... Yeah, it's very... It's only 4 uh, MP, though. It raises it less, I think, with less MP, is what I, I found in testing. Like, a 4 MP will do, you know, about half as much as a Sunball, which is 7 to 8, right? Now, this is a 6-minute break. I'm gonna go hit the restroom. I'll be back in a sec, but it is a great scene. I wouldn't miss it.
Hey, hey, Frozen Sage, welcome on in. Da, 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 da. Such a nice run today. I'm just finally feeling like I'm not bonking around the run, I'm actually doing a speed run. On run number four. I get the feeling I've gone about my speed running a little different than the different the other runners who are going about this. Now this just hangs, right? <clears throat> I'm just gonna leave it. I, yes, it just hangs, okay. The other runners, I think, really and really were so nervous about their first run, they wanted to make sure they were so perfect that they could be great on their first. You know, the way that I've gone about my running is more community-oriented. You know, I think it's more fun for the community to be part of the process and witness the progression. And so although we're not, you know, blisteringly fast out of the gate, I've been really happy to see today that things are looking finally like they're starting to get dialed in there. And we're going to kook. I think that's half of the fun of it for the community. As we now enter the Cloud Kingdom, you know what that means. Skyland is next. Um, yeah, and we just go to here, right? No, Cloud Kingdom. Duh. Gotta get better at the navigation. Straight south. That's what I'm hoping. Right around 9. That was my goal today. Try to come in around the 9 hour mark. And that's really all I'm looking for for today's round. I couldn't do any improvement, right? I had to work today and just had to do another run. <clears throat> and for it to be close to half an hour better, if we can one and done the Dweller of, of Dread. You know, that'll be important. That'll be important. And we just have been, we're just better today. Obviously, just everything's been better. For the first time, we've had perfect chapters. Like, Aunt Sudla was literally perfect. That clock tower was, I think, literally perfect in the way that we did it. No, no, Tirith. The, uh, the mindset after run number four is going to be I finally need to actually reroute and perfect the second half of the run. I'm, I'm able to, like, stay ahead of world record pace until hour four, and then I lose it in Romaya. But then I, 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 I lose it all in Romaya, and then I, I get ahead again, basically, by, like, hour five, because my hour four to five is actually really good now. And so what I need to do is I need to clean up the encounter skips in the Romaya section so that I can match world record pace so I don't lose anything. Because I enter it like four minutes ahead of any other runner. Then it's going to be about cleaning up post-dweller here. This rest of the run is quite rough for me. And that's what we're going to have to work on. That's going to be the process this week. That You're, you're not going to see that kind of stuff. I'll be doing that offline. Now that we've gotten the route dot, you know, down, we know where we're going, right? We know how to do everyone perfect. Now it's about practicing so we will do everyone perfect. And that's this week. That's the next week, right?
Yeah, I think in reality, Tirith, <laughs> I have like four runs I'm currently working on, right? Sea of Stars to Sub-9, and then eventually World Record. That's the goal here. That is the goal. Like, make no bones about it. We're gonna do, we're gonna World Record Sea of Stars. Or I will, I will die trying. <laughs> so one of the two will happen. I still have to learn Final Fantasy VI to a competent level where I can do a run, you know, without major problems. Still looking for that sub-9-10 run, FF-10. And still looking for a sub-405 probably 405 Chrono Trigger, if I ever actually get de-rusted. Which, uh, Sea of Stars is throwing a wrench in. Got a lot going. If only I was more than one man. Well, we can do some good work tonight by having a good air, el, air elemental skyline, huh? Here we go for what is the hardest section of this whole route. The Skyland section with Rashawn and Zale. <clears throat> okay. I like the way we're set up here. Time to time to be scared. Yep. <clears throat> I mean, we actually made it through pretty well last night, Tirith, relatively, to be honest. I was quite happy with it, even though it was horrifying. It was absolutely horrifying. Okay. We can break that. The defending is the, by far the most important thing here. Okay. You can break that. Good defend. Excellent. Counter is required. Okay, um, items... Always safe here. Exhaust your whole inventory if required. That's the deal. Nice locks, no pebbles here. Look at this. Great locks. Missed the defend, though. Missed the defend, though. Okay. Could have broken that lock, and I'm not going to take a tornado now. Okay, caught that one. 
caught that one. I wonder if this will kill, though. Hopefully. Excellent. I can blow through everything there. Oops. Nope. Okay, we'll just have to kill it. No problem. I had to kill this one yesterday. I shouldn't fuck with it. I should just YOLO in and kill it, because it's really easy to kill. And we rest right after. Good defend. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and dash strike. This will do about 65 AoE, so good. Break the lock. Nice. And a bane. Excellent way we handled that at the la at, at least. I haven't taken it. Good. Uh, ooh, buddy. Don't forget your hexagonal slab. our conflict rate, our level 3 combo. So much more confident today. Just confidently moving. That's time save. So much time save alone. This I'm getting just to sell it for 84 gil. This is an assassin's pin for Sarai that we definitely don't want. Only goes so good until it doesn't in Skylands, right? Here comes a brutal encounter, too. Okay, we'll need to kill it then. Totally fine. Probably required. Really hard encounter skip. It's a two-part skip and they're all just right here. Ouch, 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 ouch. Okay. No, I will abeyance, because that would be way worse to take. We might lose Rashawn here. Good, focus on Zale, please. Alright, Pine, take care. Thanks for chilling. Thanks for the good luck. Okay, excellent. They really uh, helped us out here. 
in terms of their not focusing one person and easily through. With our MP intact, the most important part, to be honest. That was good. It's very good so far today. This is very. This is just solid. And we. Well, Peach Strudel. Okay, here we go. Really rough encounter. I will do this just to make sure we're through it. Blow a Bula base so I can buy him again when we get back to Skyland. This one's rough. Really rough. Okay. Dash strike. To eliminate a pebble arc. And decrease the strength of the other. I think I got... I don't think... I don't know if I got... I think I got all three defends. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Okay... Nice. Um... Oh, I don't have an abacus on. We'll go for one that might die first. Oh no, don't attack Zale! Okay, he attacks Zale. I have a Parfait, though, today. I didn't have these yesterday. Oh, that's a big difference maker. World of difference, actually. Look how big that is. Just right back up. Oh, having the Parfaits is massive. Oh, it almost makes us free, I think. Okay, I got two out of three. Uh, abeyance to get them back together. Wow. Great fight. GG. GG. Next fight is the last fight. And we're through for a lovely Skyland, actually. I went the wrong way for both of these, the long way. Do not forget your heal here, P-Town. Okay. Bula base, Bula base. Should get us through, and we have plenty parfaits left if we need them. Here we go. Final fight for a lovely Skyland section today. Here we go. More triple bunnies. Okay. Nice. No pebble arcs. Lovely. have my sunball. Too bad. Okay, I'm gonna get better at this for the future. Actually. Cannot allow pebble arcs to occur if we can possibly handle it. Okay, that was the sunball back on Zale. I need him to live now. Okay. What about a- this'll be a lot of damage, huh? 
dash strike instead, maybe, for the AoE kill. It's a little risky. He doesn't do a lot of damage here. Nice! Oh, baby! Can you just sign me up for that every single time? Well, that's how you do it. That was smooth, calm, and collected. Let's go, guys. Yeah, <laughs> Rashawn boost. Ah, noble approves. I, I would, I would assume. Well, I can't wait to go say hi to Hydra Lion guys and see what the time save is. <laughs> that was phenomenal. It was just, it was, it was like night and day compared to my la the last one we did. Thank you. I deserve those GGs. That felt really good. It is the hardest part of the run. Like, hands down. Yeah. At least routing-wise. And that was just smooth, cool as the other side of the pillow, huh? There's a lot smoother routing. A lot smoother, more, a lot more confidence, really. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Yo, belly rubbing dead. Dun -dun 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 -dun. How you doing, my friend? Thank you for the 18 months. Glad you made it for our Sea of Stars voyage tonight. How you been, man? Haven't seen you in a minute. Grapple below that, buddy. Next time. Well, we're going to try to do an Arcane Barrage Great, e Great Eagle Tandem here. So here we go. Uh, let's go ahead and abeyance the first lock. We want to break this. Okay. I'll commit to this. What is this going to do to the tail? It might counter. I don't actually know. If it counters magic or just physical. Yeah. It's not a big counter, though. Repaired a little MP. Ah, oh, I didn't get that defend. We really wanted that. Well, it's Petricor, then. Get the defend here. Better. Okay. Uh, yeah. We have to eliminate the tail first due to the counters. Okay, good. Are we going to be able to do this? Or am I just wasting my... Yes, we are going to be able to do this. Okay. Uh, attack here. Nice. Okay. Uh, good. Uh, let's go ahead and we just want to get our MP back now. Okay, uh, you know what? I mean... I need a lock. There we go. Uh, and combo Arcane Barrage. Now we have Great Eagle. Boom. In tandem. Perfect. 
It is a beautiful game, yeah. Enjoy. Hopefully enjoy the big time save we have coming here. <clears throat> Delaying the lock by a lot, repairing the damage. Excellent. Just keep delaying, that's the deal here. Could win before the tail comes back, if I remember right. <clears throat> oh my goodness, what a Hydra Lion! Ooh, baby! Three minute time save, let's go! That felt so smooth. That is just how you draw that up. Yeah, give me that. Yeah, I wasn't expecting time save there, so that's excellent. Whew. All right, Rashawn, give me that. That's true, that's true. We were, we were expecting some from Skyland, yeah. Okay, Kiln Mountain has a lot of encounters I have not figured out how to skip yet. The upcoming section, I'm going to be really excited when I get time. Oh, we're not at full health. Let's rest. That's due to the level up. This is one of my... Favorite sections of the speedrun. The the OST is phenomenal. That's an igneous staff for Valir I will get. It's a pretty significant boost, but I think we will ignore this eventually. You can see the time loss. Let's see how much it is today. I didn't look. I'm not going to bother then. Okay. It's not as significant as I was hoping for here, but it's actually a decent chunk. Decent upgrade in DPS. It's like 12. Yeah, it is quite a lot. If it's that much, that might be worth it. Oh my god, am I gonna make it today? Yes! Oh, every encounter here I get. So anyone I can YOLO is massive time save, guys. Because <laughs> I get them all. <laughs> As I haven't researched how to skip them yet. Oh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. We're happy with how this has gone. <laughs> I tried it, but... Couldn't quite get through. Finally got to defend in there. Yeah, that's a multi-minute time save alone. This tectonics, yeah. Well, wow, boosted Valir is pretty good there. Well, we do have another encounter coming. We will have to take out. It's not a very hard one. I think the final one.
That one I do know how to skip. We do get that one. So good to see that's in there. And this one is required. That's right. <clears throat> okay, almost forgot about it. That's all I have? No, 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 no. Oh, <clears throat> no, no, guys. Uh oh. We're in a world of hurt here, actually. Good, he's gonna see himself out. That's really important for us. Okay, I can break that lock. That's also really important. Oh, good, that... Oh, my God, that was so needed. We will lose uh, Valir here, but we'll be okay. I, I hope. Will he kill me if I don't defend? Oh, boy. Valir, come on back, please. Thank, thank you, honey. Thank you. All right. Well, a risky moment, but we survived it. Persevere. Da na na, da na. Another encounter. I still have nothing to heal. <clears throat> Oh, jeez. Uh, I have a parfait, but... I don't have that. Oh, no. I mean, no. I mean, uh... Is there anything I can do here? Wow, no one has that on? Oh boy, okay, here we go. Parfait, save me, please. Now I can Petricor. If I'm alive, it's just gonna attack. Oh, it's not gonna attack Rashawn, though. Let's try to moonering our uh, way out of this fight. I don't think this can kill this guy, but God, if it did, I need him to target the Leer if he doesn't die. Because then Petricor will... No, no, no. I lost my Petricor from the uh, abeyance. Okay, not even close. Oh, he's going to see himself out of the fight, though, for Rashawn. Lovely, but it's still killed. Crested Ark for the win! Boom, baby! Through. No more fights. Let's go. Oh, frightening. Hmm, the Crested Pine. Yeah, thank you. I'm glad someone's been taking notes. I mean, there's not another fight, is there? <laughs> there's not. I know there's not. And there's a rest. Oh, it's right here. Oh. And there's a shop. A very needed one. As we have Toad Kano coming in. What do we got? Looking good now. Got our inventory back. Looking good. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Yep, YOLO Toad. I do not have notes for this fight. Did not route it. The one fight, apparently, I just ignored. There we go. Sure is a far Moonerang. I felt like this might be another candidate to potentially repeat. You know, have you can get the chain going, you cannot break it. Yeah, but haven't been able to do it yet. They're dead. They're gonna flee the fight now. <clears throat> this is what they do when they run out of HP. And it restores our MP, so we prefer it to be on Valir. Okay. Um, wow. Well, that's fucking lovely. So we'll take an attack here. What is it? Tremor. Not great, but got the job done. Okay, good. He's leaving the fight. Might be Petricor to be safe. I don't want to die on this fight. Okay, you know what I might do? I can break the... Is that going to reduce the power? Not at all, okay. Uh-oh, am I dead? Everyone on Valir. That was gravity-based. Look, it hardly hurt her. Awesome. Okay, let's do, um, uh, you know what I'm going to do? A Peach Strudel. Oh, yeah, Magic Pocket. That was free. Excellent. That was a free turn. We just got that just now. I need to use that more often. So you can use an item and then still use your turn for attack. Yeah, it seems to break there. Always at 239 damage every time. Interesting. Oh, I am going to Petricor, then Arcane Moon. Much better play. Okay. There we go. Never tried this on this fight. They're all resistant. That's too bad. Okay. I'm hoping that gets them all out of here. Oh no. I swear these ones have more damage, I mean more HP this next round. I want that all in Valir! I want my MP. <laughs> you know what I mean? Every time that is Valir, it's uh, an MP plus one. Just like that. Don't kill her, though. That's on Rashawn. Okay. I have Great Eagle. But I don't need it. Nice. That felt like a really good fight. I don't know why I didn't use the Great Eagle, though. GG. I wouldn't mind a split there for Toad Kano.
Well, this is the Garl Memorial Break, ladies and gentlemen. We made it. We made it. I gotta hit the restroom. I'll take about a minute or two here. No more. And then when I come back, it's time to run up to the Dweller of Dread. Soon. Yeah, they're considered sub-bosses. Uh, we didn't make the auto-splitter, but... The uh, person who did... Um, here, I can back that up. Um, apparently ignored the sub-bosses. Yeah. I'm gonna go get the restroom. Thanks for chilling, guys. Do drop a follow if you enjoy the Sea of Stars speedruns. We will go see if we saved any time, which I bet we did on Guardian. Hey, Jadis. Welcome on in, my friend. Thanks for the follow. How's everyone's Sunday night going, huh? How's the uh, Sunday night football game going, by the way? That apparently I'm not watching tonight, since we have a good run going. 24-17. A good game, huh? Well, good. At least it's a good game. What actually happens with Garl here? I don't know. 
You guys tell me, what is the lore? As to what happens to Garl here? I mean, he's buried here. <laughs> he dies here. But, so here's the deal, Tirith. <clears throat> he was given a vial of borrowed time. By... Who was it? By the council, I think? The council. The Cloud Kingdom Council. To perform one last heroic task before he died. And his task was to... Revive the sleeper from his slumber. And having done that, by awakening the sleeper and naming him Wentworth, I believe, Garl has performed his final, his final act in life. He has performed his one thing he could do with his vial of borrowed time. And so Garl has met his end of his line here. That is how I understand the lore. You guys think that was pretty accurate? How did I do? I feel like I have a 30 second Garl Memorial uh, time loss here too. Is that here? Because <laughs> last night there was one of these big breaks I came back from way late. I, th I don't think it was this one. But it could have been. Um, okay. Uh, I think we're just continuing here. That's right. Dana, 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 dana. Dana. Oh yeah, I can. I can actually uh, do my shopping here. Lovely. <clears throat> I think I was here, right? No, that's to the left. Okay. I will want to go buy some more Bula bases here. Mm-hmm. I think it's yeah. I think it's the earlier one too. I gotta commit to memory. The Cloud Kingdom is the one right by Punty. The shop for the craftsman is one left. the sleeper flying in the background. Not that far from the Sea of Stars. And yeah, infinite slug jam territory. Well... Okay. 
I prefer Bula bases for the MP and the HP. Alright, kick me to kook, buddy. Kook me. Let's get cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs here. skip all these. First one is quite easy. You just gotta draw out the top enemy. The second one I've been missing. I got it last time. This one I've been missing. I need him to turn around. Got him. Had to fight that one last time. GG. Perfect section. Let's go. A lot of perfect chapters today. the sea of stars baby if you haven't seen this you're in for a real treat you better have some popcorn and beer for this one might be the most epic scene in all of RPG history in my opinion and I don't think that's overselling so you better have a big screen in 1080p for this one there we go time to sail the sea of stars This is what the new PC upgrade got you guys. A much better visual for stuff like this, by the way. It was worth it for that. And so now we're just into Guardian. any hex shields, but so far I've always had one. And that means we require kind locks. Yep. Pretty good Moonerang in this fight, too. Pretty far away, but hard to get a lot in there, just like Tokeno. <clears throat> it does seem to top out. Yeah, really does seem to top out.
In case we need it for locks, and it sure would be good to get some boosting out here. Okay. Looking good so far. Um, disorient. Mm. Okay, combo, arcane barrage. We could do that. I've never tried that before, and I kind of like it. Um, okay. We'll take one attack. Uh, okay. Phase, well, we can just do this. Oh no, I didn't see the dash strike. Oh, bad, 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 bad P-Town. <laughs> All right. I have to chop it down now. It's all good. I got Great Eagle. As soon as we're done here, for my transgressions, ah. Well, he'll get a turn here. We can make it less painful. All right, got it out of there. Now, what do you got? Taser grips, not a big deal. Ouch. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, get boosting out here. Great eagle. I'm hoping this eliminates the uh, the minions. We definitely don't want another lock. I haven't played this great. That hex shield sucked. Good, good, good. Okay, that's great now. Got him right where we want him. For the win. I should have busted this out earlier. And that'll definitely do it. Nice. And how much time? A minute, 20 seconds. Cool. Alright. Keep on keeping on. Solidly looking for sub 9 here now. Solidly on pace. As we have our death to the demon, the Dweller of Dread, it's a brutal death. This guy to have a good derelict factory would go a long way here. Go a long way here. Thank you, thank you for the GG's. Just gotta keep trucking. Keep the good work going here. Um, we're gonna rest, yeah. Alright, bring on the banger music again. This is the home of, like, the most encounter skips you can do, really. You don't have to take, I think, more than one encounter here. I think? Might not be true. But no, I think, yeah, you definitely don't have to take many.
not thinking today, knowing I'm going to the right. Still was thinking yesterday. Where am I going? Okay, have to take this and count. Abeyance, Crested Arc, Sunball. Don't forget the Abeyance first turn. Okay, timers here. Not great. Hoping that kills one often is left alive. Good. Oh, great fight. Great fight, great fight, great fight. Left side, right side, center side. Here we go. I got caught by the center yesterday. I wait for this one all together too long. But it's the only way I routed it, so it's what we'll do. As long as we're through it, that's what matters. I think I got caught by this one yesterday. That was absolutely unacceptable. It's a little too hasty or something. And then I got caught by this one. <clears throat> Two. You're safe in front of the console. Okay. First part done. That activates the, uh, the... Whatever this is, the crane. Okay. Mm oh, it's only two of them? Oh. Well, we see, we see here, this is about a bad thing, actually. Because we're going to take a Hex Shield no matter what. At least we can eliminate one. Okay. Do your thing, buddy. Yeah, we hate you. Love that, love that. These are really easy to kill. It's the Hex Shield that's the real nightmare. I mean, what... The fuck is that? Is he doing another Hex Shield? No, there's no way, right? There's just no way, right? Not possible. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm gonna lose my shit here, dude. You can do a Hex Shield on a Hex Shield, apparently. That's a thing we just found out. What the flying fuck? We can stack Hex Shields. It is apparently a thing. Yeah, fuck you too, dude. Alright, well, thank God we're out of here. <laughs> what a miserable encounter. I've never gotten caught by that one before. Okay, there we go. Wow, he's so low on his MP. Not giving him anything, huh?
Wow, alright. Well, that was catastrophic. to survive here after that debacle. It's gonna be required. Gotta go back now. That's it. Gotta get back through. Oh my goodness, P-Town. I hate you, buddy. I just hate you sometimes, man. I hate you sometimes, P-Town. Double Hex Shield incoming. <laughs> Love that. Love that. Oh, sometimes I just... Uh, and my own worst enemy, apparently, here. have an abacus on someone needs that badly here so I can tell what the hell's going on okay let's go ahead and equip you with the abacus oh she has two slots for that really I love that for us too I'm glad you agree yeah. that was a great left section such a good uh, center for such a bad left. I don't love that at all, but it is what it is today. We'll clean that up, you know. It just takes testing, right? I haven't tested that. I'm just YOLOing it. That's all I'm doing. Complete YOLO. And so it's tough to do that. This one we should make it through. And honestly, this whole section will eventually be done with only one fight. The initial four-time turret, and that is it. And we'll be able to do it perfectly fast. I won't be waiting for cycles. I'll know the how to do it running into it. You know, that's how you have to be, right? And we'll get there this week. That'll be where the next progression. But we cannot get caught here, because we're done. This one isn't that hard. Oh god. Okay, good. Ooh, baby. Let's go. Alright, good. Done and done. Hey, not gonna be perfect on run four. Gonna have mistakes. There was our mistake. There's our time save for tomorrow. There's the tomorrow time save. Oh, they're back! What? Oh yeah, we did skip this one, that's right. It was the... Wait. Yeah, I did... We got... Oh yeah, this one was all perfect. Okay. <laughs> I'm forgetting which one I got caught by. We got lost in the Cerulean Expanse last night, guys. That was like a minute time loss. We got that to look forward to. At least, right? I did. I got lost. I had to redo it. It was quite the epic... Quite the epic... Uh, moment. It was on the very final uh, direction, too. Hey, Captain Aberica, welcome on in. Hope you're having a good Sea of Stars Sunday. 
Okay. Well, despite those two encounters, I was flowing through there with more confidence, and that's the more important thing today. Yeah, great section coming up. And our Cedric cutscene, too. The uh, orb, the probe's name is Cedric. Well, there's a pretty cool FMV in here we'll have to skip, I hate to say. Is this the, uh, like the... Metal Gear Solid FMV? That's very, I feel like one of these coming up. I don't know if it was this one. It would be appropriate for the Derelict Factory. That's very, like, Metal Gear Solid vibes to me. Is it this one? Yeah. Yeah, love that one. Cedric is like her mainframe's AI? Yeah, that's about right. I think that's correct. Okay, let's go navigate the expanse, but do it the right way. Cue the banger track. Uh, upon banger track, upon banger track. Upon a banger track. Such a tough life running this game, huh? Seema. Absolutely. Happy Sunday. Good to see you. Glad you made it. Hey, Sabo. Good to see you, too. Very happy Sunday, Monday. What's news? Oh, you know. Finally, I'm having a little more of a chill run today than a stress run. And I can tell you, I'm very happy about that. <laughs> I think on run number four, we're finally vibing and thriving. We're not a bundle of anxiety and stress, and boy does it feel good. Boy does it feel good. Number four in five days. Probably number five tomorrow. Well, I might do some, I'm actually probably gonna take the night off. Do some um, speed run prep instead. We go hard around here. I'm an endurance runner. When you're used to world record Final Fantasy VII 16 hour runs, 9 hours to 10 hours is a walk in the park. We don't shy away from that around here. I could run two of those and be fine. Two of these. <laughs> And reasonably probably still get up for work the next day. Which might be the more impressive thing. I once, I, I've ran many, many Final Fantasy VII 100% runs where I would go to work on no sleep after a 16 hour run. And so we, you know, that's just kind of how we operate around here. And then, and then come home and sleep for 14 hours. <laughs> Hey, Pole Q. Appreciate the follow. Welcome on in. I'm anticipating, I mean, maybe time loss on uh, 
Meduso? It's hard to say though, because we didn't make the mistake in the Cerulean Expanse. But we did get caught two times that were pretty bad, with some pretty brutal hex shielding in the Derelict Factory. So it'll be interesting to see how our Meduso comes out. We just need to survive Meduso. Let's just go have a good fight. I'm going to say no to the uh, Walnut Cork today, too. Oh, Sabo! Oh my god, Sabo. You're going to love this. You're going to love this. If you love that Moonerang clip of 138, guess what I did today? This guy one-shotted the Botanical hair, uh, to a Horror with 177 moon. Oh, I haven't healed. 100? Oh, we yeah. have. 177 Moonerangs today. So I can, I can one-up that VOD, actually. Well, that's live in today's run. Alright, here we go. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. There we go, guys. Not awful. There's some boosting out there. Okay. What are we working with here? Come at me. Good MP restoration. Good boosting in the battle. Good defense. All about the conflict right here. Okay, give me that. Good. Um, oh, really? We can break two. That really builds combos so quickly, it's really nice when you can just easily break locks here. Okay. Uh, actually, leave you in there. Let's break that one. Okay, we have Conflict Rate. Interesting. I'm gonna use it, actually. And go in big time here. Okay, be kind. Oh man, really good Conflict Rate here. Maximized it. Nice! Okay, the heals are fine. They're so little. It's only gonna be like a hundred. We're almost at the Great Eagle too now, with a with a lot of MP still. Wow, what a good Medusa! This is phenomenal. And the Great Eagle is next. I wonder if we win here. If it's good enough, I don't think so. Okay. Um, do we have a disorient for the Great Eagle to come in right now? We do! Fly, Eagle, fly! Let's go, baby! What a fight! I don't think it's gonna get another turn. This is gonna be GG. The early conflict rate strat seems to be the play here. Out of my way, buddy. Uh, give me. Uh, uh... 
Oh god, Rashawn for the win! I love that. I love that. <laughs> Just poetry in motion there. What a nice fight. What a nice fight. That was little, oh, not much time saved, but that's because the time loss occurred in the factory. And the derelict factory. That was a textbook, Medusa. Well, there we have it. The, the early conflagrate for the win into the Great Eagle to extend into the dub. I think that's the strat. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Not 100% sure I need to even heal here. Looking, I came out of that fight almost looking great. And we don't know if we get a, a free heal anyways before uh, the hunting fields coming up with our owl assassins. Really important section coming up that actually went very well last night. I got a lot of encounter skips that I don't even test out. That were just a straight up YOLO. So, we'll just need to do it again, huh? We did it last night, we can do it tonight. Okay. I'll, I'll save. I mean heal. <laughs> this one's closer than the other one, at least. Westward young man. To the sacrosanct spires. Did I pass him? I did. West... West North. West Northwest. Oh, that's the save. Okay, that is the save. That's the fastest. Let's go with that next time. Or the rest. Our daft punk moment. Love this section. So good. We get Verlot. The introduction to the NPC Verlot. Who saves the day at the end of the run. <clears throat> you can skip this one. I did not last night. I did the night before. Yes. Oh! Oh my goodness! I was about to say, yeah, that shot got me, and it didn't. Whew. Time save. Let's go. Let's go. I can't believe that didn't get me. I was sure it was. We don't do ropes around here. Too good for ropes. We skip them. Very good start here. Mm -hmm. 
Oh god, talk about PTSD, the terrible terror that killed my run. <laughs> I'm gonna have nightmares of that that animation for <laughs> quite a while. All right, quite a few encounters we will be forced to take here. Okay, and then Sunball. Well, give me, uh, you know what, uh, Venom Flurry instead. Ooh, got me. That's a hard one to defend, too. Is that going to get through them all? I, I should. Not quite. Okay. Nice. And a rest. Now, the next encounter, I s not the next one. Yeah, the next one, I skipped last night. First time ever. I didn't know it was skippable. I just YOLO'd it. It was pretty cheeky, and it didn't look that hard either, actually. It's uh, just a wind push is all it is. I've been assuming it was required. There we go. Oh, I just, just they got away from me. <laughs> My bad. All right, it's fine. Uh, we could crested arc. Too bad I got that one last night. At least is they're pretty easy to kill. Uh, let's go there. All almost had it. Should have had it. It's not quite tonight. Not quite tonight, right? Almost there though. That's okay. We can accept that. We will need to heal for the next one, though. And we have to take this one here. Go a little better than last time, abeyance, to get them together. Uh, okay. Break the lock, break the man. GG. Wow. Level ups are going to happen really frequently in here. As we end the run, I will go for MP for a little bit here. If it is presented. How about you go left to right next time, P-Town? Or the other way, huh? The fast way. All right, rock and roll. Uh, 
There's our introduction to Verlant. Who has been imprisoned by the Triumvirate. Oh no, we're in prison too. What, what are we going to do, guys? Oh no. Good thing we have a sneaky pirate, huh? Puzzle's always identical. Hey, Mr. Bean, how you doing? Welcome on in. Look at this really fast, too. There we go. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. I'm gonna get my sapphire ingot today for Gil. <clears throat> Although I don't love it, I really don't love it. As it's a good 20 seconds time loss here, I think. This will be something I expect to route out eventually. But today, I will do it. Just in case we need some kind of inventory for the end. Okay, two more encounter skips. This one I got last night, and it's insane. Oh, we caught? I jumped off too late. I don't even have enough for a Moonerang. That's really unfortunate. Okay. All right, well, we'll just have to take it. And Oh, that's right, we get a free first turn. Oh, lovely. Check that out. We have the magic pocket today. I started to pick that up last run. And this is a very hard skip, too. Even when I got it last night, it was sneaky. It was very, very tricky. And so it's okay to miss this one. Uh, well, I can't do anything here. Okay. We'll have to take a telepounce. Acceptable, although that one I just need to test out a little more, and I think we'll have that one. Too bad we had to trade that one because last night that was a really nice time save. Okay, this one we got too. I really have to get this one. Um, well. If I get into it, it's going to be hard to get out of it in the moment. We really need this one, guys. This one really needs to happen. Okay. Made it happen. Through sheer will <laughs> and perseverance. <laughs> they go back to their route if you allow the text box to hang, by the way, if you didn't know that. They start going back to their route. You can see his shadow as he walks around. That's what I was using there to uh, navigate. That one was pretty squeaky tight, though. It nearly had me. Triumvirate time. Okay. 
Nice. Okay. There is one more required fight, and that's actually it here. It's actually it here. This one is required. Ooh, I haven't healed or anything, have I, for this? Okay, that's actually a good, really good lock here for us. Not a hard fight, though. I'm not too worried about it. GG. Just kind of get our MP back here. Okay. Should have comboed that. Okay, we could be done. Could be done. Oh, that can soft lock. Oh my goodness. You can get the ball into positions that will softlock here, actually. I have done it, and it cannot be undone. Requiring a reset. Oh, 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 what did I do? <laughs> no, but I pushed it down. Huh? Okay, um, items. Ooh, items. Give me a... Oh, I just have nothing here, huh? If we get into this fight, we're just going to be in trouble. I'm going to be honest. Oh, God. All right. Uh, Moonerang me. Nope, we can Crested Arc here. Okay. This is going to get really risky. Hang on to your hats. Uh, like, let's phase shiv someone out of this fight who's getting a turn. This guy. We can rest after this for the full heal. We're done. Triumvirate next. Uh, sure. What is that going to... That could kill. Could kill. 82. Not quite. Okay. There we go. Uh, just go ahead and attack. We'll have to beat a attack from him. <laughs> I like the bait. Love the bait. I don't think I've... S I'm not sure I've seen that move yet. Alright. Triumvirate. Let's go. Well, I don't like that section, but I haven't practiced it at all. It's all YOLO right now. Got a couple skips, didn't get a couple others, you know? We're gonna be looking for b perfection, probably next run. Is what I'll be really expecting. Big bad boss fight and another split coming up that we will probably lose time on. I don't feel like that was very good, but you know, I've said that all day. I keep expecting to lose time on bad sections. We end up saving it just from being better, you know, one run to the next. So here we go. All right, uh, Crested Arc, sure. I've seen this opening before. Here comes the Claymore. Okay, mm that hurt.
Okay, I like to take them all out in tandem, all three of them at the same time. I've gone away from the Kasugan kill strat, as I found it really risky, actually. And so I actually take out the magic uh, characters to the right and the center first, is what I do. Ouch, and I need to be- oh no, dead- ah, damn it. Okay, I might have a, uh, Parfait left, I think I do actually, to save us. Uh, do I? I do! We'll take the Mind Meld or whatever he has coming. Okay, free turn. Love that. Uh, let's go ahead and... I could just disorient him. That is one play. Man, my health is getting so low here. I think I'm just gonna eat a turn. And we are... Uh, God, Zale doesn't have a turn here? Okay, we can actually attack then. Uh, let's go ahead and... I'll leave that out there. Just get an attack out. Give Zale his turn. To bring in uh, you for the Petricor and the Great Eagle build too. So what is this move? Probably healing, yeah. We can't let the middle guy get his turn, by the way. And I, I'm going to have to eat it. I thought I had enough here, and I don't. Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, this could be a one-two punch death, actually. Is what? The, oh, I can do Arcane Barrage on him, and I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to waste it. <laughs> Darn it, there goes my conflict rate. We're going to pivot here, though, and it's probably a really good call to save the run. Okay. We have Great Eagle 2. And that'll res Sarai and get a full heal. Rock and roll. Let's go. Moonerang time. Now we're looking good. Now we got him right where we want him. That did get a little dicey for a sec there, though. When I had to confront the fact we could have been terrored into Claymore for the insta 1-2 kill, which has happened to us before. Um, okay, I will... Do that. That's all I have, really. Okay, he gets his turn again. Give me uh, you back. Free turn, right? Magic pocket. This is not mind meld, it's this. Okay, good. I'm just really low on MP at the moment. Hmm. I haven't defended that once yet. Ah, or that one. Okay. Uh, we have Arcane Barrage, though. Okay, we, I'm just really nervous about my health at the moment. Someone's probably dying here. Oh no! Oh no! Oh my goodness, I just killed us! I can't believe I did this, guys. I legitimately just killed us, actually. Yeah, that's a run death. We're going to die here. I believe. 
And it's gonna be a 20 minute time loss. Um... Oh, I have a parfait! Um... Okay... Uh, uh, the warble doesn't even matter. I'm just gonna see if I can kill him. No, no one died. The res is irrelevant. This is a one-two punch kill. You don't know it's coming. I know it's coming. You guys don't know. Ooh, we didn't die. Okay. That was big, big, big. I was expecting the True Terror Claymore death. Um, that was what I thought was coming. Okay, um, good. Uh, give me Bist then. Warble, you say, can... Bring him back, huh? Okay, I'll do that. Alright, we survived it. Wow, that was crazy. <laughs> okay, lost them. I need the Great Eagle really badly here. We just gotta hang in here. Dweller of Dread is so close. We're not far away from our time save, just can't die. That's literally it here. Good. Oh man, okay. Uh, Ebb, and the Great Eagle too. Nice, what a good play. Hanging on a prayer here, guys. Ooh, that HP is looking so bad. <laughs> But I'm just rocking with it. Yes! Okay, um... Conflagrate is ready, you're right, thank you. I just, I didn't notice that. Appreciate you. This guy is not weak to magic, so I went there. Nice. Okay, I am so content with that two-minute time loss. For the fact that we didn't kill the run. Very, very okay. Because we got our 15-minute time save next. On the Dweller of Dread. If I lose there, the continue function returns you 20 minutes behind you. And... I will not save there anymore. We just have to win. What I was really afraid of there was that Terrible Terror is an AoE 1 HP, and then get the, and then Ratcheter can Claymore you for an AoE 1-2 punch. And it happened to me in my first run, and that's what lost me 20 minutes. It's just an insta-rip if you let that occur, and I was staring that in the face if I did an Arcane Barrage. Now the Arcane Barrage was a bad pivot, because it meant I couldn't conflagrate, but it saved the run, is what it did, because it didn't allow for the terrible terror, Claymore, knockout, that you dread. And when you've been running for seven and a half hours, you don't want that to be the way you go out. Hey, Derp. How are the levels looking? You mean like leveling up in the speedrun without grinding? Uh, actually, uh, perfectly fine. No leveling up or grinding is required in Sea of Stars. The uh, studio, the developing team, did a phenomenal job with uh, how they handled level ups in this game. When you're under-leveled, it tends to compensate 
in your favor. When you're over leveled, it'll do the opposite. Of course, uh, dodging encounters is definitely the name of the game in this in this speedrun. And it's what it's all about. Oops. Absolutely. Hey, and go. Run goes really well. Welcome back in. Lost two minutes to the triumvirate for a, a poor fight. But it was a fight that saved us as we're coming into our big time save. So I'm very okay with that. What happened with the triumvirate? You're literally here. You can go watch it on the VOD. Go watch it. Every one of us already saw it. I don't need to recap it for you. We just watched it. That is what VODs are for, my friend. Alright. As Triste's lookout coming up. I love this session. It's really fun. Really fun. The Sky Base. Super, super fun. And I think we have Teeks coming in hot, right? Oh, it could be under hour and a half to go. Oh, shit. PBR getting time lost there. Alright, Sky Base Baby. Well worth it. Cheers to a good sky base and to a good catalyst. As long as we have that, we're going to set ourselves up for a good Dweller of Dread time save. This one is, most encounters in here aren't actually skippable. you got to take them. And so it's just about doing it as capably as you can. The first, uh, Yankee, Yankee two-time fight, gotta take. Um, we are... Just anyone really else in here? Nice defend. And uh, you, and then Crested Arc for the win. Crescent Arc for the win. Just not thinking, just committing. Don't think, just do. Don't care about Bist. Are the timings for ultimates? No, there is no timing for an ultimate. Good question, good question. Not that we can tell. All right, close to a double Petricor. Thank you. 
Down, na, na, na. Can I take this one? Wow, that's nice. Allowing the, the lock break here. Okay. Ouch. Okay. Finally got to defend. Out of time. But yeah, there's most moves in this game have a uh, have a boost. That is the ultimates do not. All the heals have a boost. Even using an an I a nourish with Gar uh, with with Garl has a boost actually. Really interesting how that uh, works out. Da na na na. Da na 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 da na 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 da na 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 Three time matcha coming at us. Oh. Those little creepy crawlies. Didn't we figure out they're weak to something last time? I'm just forgetting what it is. Is it boosted Rashawn? Is that what it is? Trying to remember what they're weak to. Yeah, the Lorbs. Arcane. So they're weak to Bist? Oh. So Bist magic, huh? Alright. Let's try that out here. Yeah, and boosted Rishan. Oh, a little speedrun trick here, by the way. Oh, uh, no. It's not letting me. Oh, you can you can grapple. I guess you can only grapple from the lower platform, not the upper one. Interesting. Well, nope, we will dash strike two of those out of the way. Take our Lorb. There we go. What is this going to do? Very nice. Very nice. Uh, well, actually, here. Perfectly killed. Let's just make sure we get him out of there. Cool. Why do we not care about this? He's very unused in the speedrun. That's why. He's just not a very useful character. Until here, really. Alright, Swordfish. Thanks for hanging out for the speedrun. Hope you have a great rest of your night. Good, good and fast. That was nice. Oh, 
Well, that wasn't ideal. <laughs> Oops, that was ideal. Push it up, buddy. There we go. Better. Uh, this one I need to work on a little, apparently. There we go. Da -na -na -na. Da -na -na -na. Um, okay, how are we looking? That's all I have left. Okay, we're just gonna have to do it the best we can here. We have to beat this encounter. Not a hard one, luckily. Uh, let's go ahead and break that. Is there a true ending category? Oh, categories haven't even been made for this game yet, actually. Uh, for the most part. There's, that would be a hundred percent category, is what that would be for this game. In order to 100%, you would get the true ending. Remember, this game came out like three weeks ago, right? Okay. What if I just pump this guy with all the boost? No. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Down, 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 down. Got a rest coming up here. Next. No, not next. Man, I very much need a rest though. I gotta get through two more fights first. Oh, oh, oh. I hope I don't need any uh, MP in there. I think I'm really low. We got some hexes, rear he hex shields we'll have to get through. mind. I, I, I loathe the Hex Shield. Gonna have to take it here, potentially. This could be a little rough. Okay. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, anyway, we can break that. Really? None of them got a lock. How lucky is that? Well, this will be a great fight now. They'll go down easy. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Wow, what a fight. GG, let's go. It's a lot of extra. It's a lot of extra. Okay, gotta get through one more here. Uh, we don't have enough for the Moonerang. Uh, okay, we can break this, so we're gonna be getting a Hex Shield. It is what it is. Bummer. But, yeah, it's on me for coming in. I just didn't have the inventory here. Uh, okay, we can Venom Flurry around again. Pretty good on the, uh, the, the drone. The Hex Shield asshole. Nice. Wow, 100 AoE. That is really, really good. I 
I want to make sure this guy's gone. I don't want his turn. So I gotta go through the shield here. Yeah, that was a little overkill. God, nearly built an ult in that fight. Uh, yeah, those are plasma daggers for Sarai. Might as well get them as we're here. And we're at the catalyst, guys. This is it. We made it. GG. That means we officially have made it once we're through the catalyst to the time save we've been looking for all day. The Dweller of Dread. It is upon us after this fight. Let's rock and roll. So all our Bula base, all equipment, we're going to have a lot of uh, ability to buy here. Okay, uh, buy... Nope. I just bought a staff I already had. Love that. Um, I don't think I need the armor either. I'm going to buy... Uh, these are... Let's go... F six parfaits. Sell the hearty stews at this point. And buy me... Two of those. I always buy more on the way out. All right, here we go. Okay, one and one, huh? Wow, it's so fast. Okay. Wow, it's 2 HP under from killing. Kind of offended by that. That should kill, and get us through to the second phase. Arcane Moon it, baby. Let's go. Wow, none of them. Okay, uh, Venom Fluria. Come on, man. That parfaits now, and we have the magic pocket, too. Let's get that healing out of there. This will heal someone else. Now we got the defend. How are you looking? Yeah, you need this more. Oh, 
what the heck? I missed my double punch, and it didn't kill. That's on totally on me. Okay. Go ahead and target this side. Yeah, got the Great Eagle too. Oh my goodness. Uh, you know what I could do here? I could do this right now. I bet I'll build it up another one before we go again. And so this is actually a new play I'm going to try out here. Look at the delay and the kill. I'm actually a big fan of that. Now I can restore my MP while building Conflagrate. Uh, get you back in here. I need maximum MP on Sarai for the d delays, and we have Conflagrate. Look how great this has gone. Amazing. Okay. Well, I want to actually delay... F no, okay. I mean, this could kill for all we know, and that's half a Great Eagle already for one level three. Here we go. Beautiful. Okay, uh, give me you for the Moonerang. We need, boy, I don't know if I'm going to be able to delay enough here before I don't think I can. Darn it. I gotta get enough damage in for one cycle. I did it! Let's go! What a good catalyst! Made up two and a half minutes there. What a fight. That was phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. And now we got the Dweller of Dwe Dread Death coming up next, by the way. We've made it. We made it. We're there. Let's get it. Ooh, I knew I had to had to perform there and raise rise to the occasion, and we did. That felt really good. The Dweller of Dread, yes. Well, well, well. We have up to a 15 minute time save. On the Dweller. Couple things we gotta do first. A little bit of cutscenes, about five minutes worth we gotta get through. But then the big moment of the run we've all been waiting for comes. This is the sub nine. This is it the moment. It has to be here. Either we won and we won and done the Dweller of Dread, or we will not sub nine tonight. And so a lot riding on the next split. And it will be the next fight. A little bit we gotta do first though. Yo yo Link, welcome on in. Everyone chilling tonight. Appreciate you enjoying our fourth Sea of Stars speedrun. All right, rock and roll time. We got business to attend to here, guys. Okay, you literally don't get any gill from that. And uh, we are not at full health. I'll s I bet you got a rest in here before the Dweller, but uh, I'll rest today. The game is nice. It auto-rests you at certain points in the run that are really good to know about. And so it's going to uh, pay a lot of, of uh, time save when we can add that into the notes.
And so to the clock tower. Very good navigation. Excellent, actually. Compared to compared to the last run. As we enjoy our double time run through of the clock tower to get the artificer cutscene. Very, very cool cutscene. Reminds me a lot of uh, Atropo from Chrono Trigger. Any particular run killer in Sea of Stars? Yeah, everywhere. Every random encounter you fail to skip will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> It's a very scary run, my friend. The thing about the Sea of Stars run is every encounter, most encounters, can be skipped, right? Not all of them. But the majority of them can. And you're expecting uh, yourself, if you're a speedrunner, you know, trying to run a PB, you're expecting to skip, right? And so a lot of times you might decide, well, if I heal here, I'm going to really hurt my inventory. But I know not healing, I'll die if I fail to skip. Those are the kind of trade-offs that runners are going to have to make in this speedrun. They're very hard trade-offs to, to make, right? You know, run death versus time save. Those are really, really important decisions that are made everywhere in this run. And so we return to KL for the artificer scene. Badger, appreciate the follow. My fellow chemist, how you doing? Well, come on in.
The important thing coming up for the Dweller fight is simply don't die. Don't play it risky. You know, we have the inventory to not do that. And so at this point, we know what we have to do. We have a 10 to 15 minute time save here. Let's just go get it, huh? That is all we're working on now. Maximize it to the fullest. Because if we're going to sub 9, it's going to be tight. And it's going to come down to this fight, most likely. Right where I was going today, huh? Like that? The the whole routing, the navigation, you know, just the knowing where I'm going today has been a big, big, big difference. And that's really nice to see. It makes me much more confident and much more calm. So I'm never, you know, never panicked. And that's what you gotta be running this game. Cool, calm, composed. Hey, Dare. Welcome on in. Happy Sunday, Monday, my friend. How are you? What kind of optimizations are you curious about? Stop shop to the dweller now. Mm -hmm. Well, this is where I died last round and it lost me 10 to 15 minutes, Dare, so. Hopefully, it'll look a lot better today. This is the sub 9 right here. This has to be a good fight. So, I shall. We've had really good optimizations of fights today so far. Okay. Open with the Moonerang Dash Strike. Standard opening for me here. The Moonerang can actually kill. But you gotta be Petonian masterful, and I've actually only done it one time. Very hard. Because they're not equidistant. Okay, yeah, and then dash strike. Actually, it might not kill. Because that was a really bad Moonerang. Should do around a thousand, actually. Good. Still killed. Perfect. Alright, excellent. <clears throat> Try to make it a little less risky, huh? Okay, good. And into the main phase now. GG, fucking blitzed them. Let's go. What a perfect phase one and two. Okay. Okay, um, let's go ahead and disorient. We need more MP here. 
We don't want the dread stare. Well, that just really... Oh my goodness, you gotta be joking me, bro. <laughs> This'll be okay. Okay, uh, uh, go ahead and attack here. Check this out! Oh no, I needed to Moonerang first! We're losing, uh, Zale. I had to do the Moonerang first. It's okay, it's okay. But not optimal here. Oh, and I don't have enough for the Moonerang. That's right, yes I do. I, I thought I had an AoE, yeah, party nine. Nice. Okay, good. And now, oh, that was also a free turn. I keep forgetting about that. No, that was an okay combo. That was fine. You gotta deal with bad ones here. I just don't like the fact I messed up the Moonerang first. That was a major mistake. Major mistake there. Ouch. Okay. Uh, we will parfait again. Yeah. Okay. Didn't get the defend either. God, bro, you're so bad at defending here. Come on, man. Gotta be better here, buddy. Okay. Petrichorit for the Great Eagle. Excellent. Okay, now we're set up for success. If I could ever fucking defend. Okay, I need this to... Actually, I need this to kill. If it doesn't, I'm in trouble. God damn it, if it kills Valir, I would be so mad. Dude! Of course, right? The one person it targets is Valir. All right, all right, all right. We got this, we got this. Um, we need Valir back. I'm actually gonna Great Eagle this now. To get us out of a little bit of a tight spot here. Just a bad beginning here to this fight. Really just crushing Valir again, 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 and again. Okay, Disorient. Now the Conflict Rate. Also to build the Great Eagle. A big reason why you do that. Nice! 3300, bingo. Okay, that was excellent, actually. Moonerang time. Let's go. Gotta be a better Moonerang here, though, than last time. Okay, we're looking good now. Now it's about being better at eliminating the tentacles, and I was terrible. Okay, let's do that. Free turn. Let's get one of them out of here. Yeah, that'll help a lot here. Watch it target, um, watch it target the one character who could die, right? Okay, nice, it didn't. I'm glad it doesn't do that. Uh, let's keep pushing off the inevitable. That gives me the Great Eagle. We can do a little double trouble damage here. Not a Moonerang for the faint of heart. One more conflict rate could be the dub, but we need a lot of build up of the. Okay, good. I aim AIM Pine is not here. Someone needs to clip this and post it to Discord. AIM Pine requested this today, and I said I would do it for him. And so, here it is. This is time loss. I'm doing it on purpose. Enjoy your one and only salvation of the night. It does half of what Conflict Rate would do. That's why I don't like that. Got the defend. Ooh, actually, um, okay, give me the best boy Bist here. Just 
to get some bonus out there. Actually, we have a level 1 combo for this. We don't want that. That is the Dread Stare. Terrible attack. I have enough for Dash Strike. Fuck yeah. This is looking spicy. Looking good here. Looking like a very good Dweller where we never see the Dread Stare. That's the most important part. Nice. That'll kill. Get the fuck out of here. Didn't get the defend. That would have given me my Petricor back too. I'm gonna use all my items here that that can get us through. Okay. The defend here is gonna be re. Oh no! I should have taken Sarai out. Sarai's dead. Got the def. I uh, didn't go the defend. Ooh, um, interesting here. Okay. What combos do we have? Nothing good. Okay, sunball me. Get the tentacles out of here. No, we're t okay. We're taking a dread stare. Uh, so. We need to get uh, them out of there. Oh, we can! Oh wait, we can break this. I was wrong. Okay, I didn't think I had a boost. I do have a boost. Lovely. And that gave me the Moonerang. Fuck yeah. That worked out well. That worked out very well. We're gonna ride the death wave here, guys. This is gonna be really risky. I will not heal anymore. Either we win or we die. Okay. Give me you for the biggest thing you have for the Great Eagle. That's all that's for. Oh no, dead Valir. It's getting spicy. That that salvation ultimate instead of the conflagrate was was really really a, a definitely a tough move to handle here, but that was on purpose and got it. G G, what is the time save? I don't even know, because apparently I missed that split last night. I don't even know. Wow, we're not going to know until the jug, huh? Crazy. What a great fight. That was very good, actually. We didn't see a single Dread Stare. The current world record has three of them. And the Dread Stare takes forever. It takes like a minute a pop. All right, love how we handled that. Final hour upon us, hopefully less. As that should have positioned us for sub nine. Now we just got to get the get the job done, bring it home strong. A really good lejug will go a long way. And you gotta bump the music up for the end. Appreciate the GG's. That was required. That felt great. That felt great.
Very scary section incoming here. Alright, Moo Guy. Thanks a lot for chilling, as always. Appreciate you. Great fight. Great fight. As we have a save right out here that I am going to take today. This will save us time, in my opinion. As we'll go into the next fight with full health, and it'll be much better. You have another fight here that's required. None of these can be skipped in this whole section. Well, most of them can. Three in a row you gotta take. Okay, another dash strike. That will prevent the flesh shield, right? Bring them all together. Group them up, chop them down. That's the plan. Good defend. Good defend. God, that was so good. Um, what are we down to? Oh, 32. Nice. Excelente! Excelente! Absolutely excellent. Wait, why did I just do that? <laughs> oh, I just added in a cutscene for us. Nice. Just gonna do it again, huh? Yeah. Well, thank God that was such a good fight. That was such a great fight. I wonder if I go heal again here. I think I am today. I think this is a lovely play, actually. It's going to make every of the first three fights, I think, much more efficient. And we're going we're gonna to save time from this. Because <clears throat> it's so close. Okay, another fight right here. Um, okay. Thought I had another fight there. Maybe it's here. Maybe I'm just wrong. Okay, another fight coming up here. That we're gonna be really happy we restored for. This section is so much better. 
With just those two heals, it's crazy how much that changed everything. Oh, we got a rest next. Okay. Holy shit. This is big time save, I can tell. I can tell. Okay. Hey, Regal. Welcome on in. Appreciate the follow. Hope you're having a good Sea of Stars Sunday. So creepy rolling these things, huh? Am I the only one who really creeped out by these? They're so gross, and the sounds are so gross, too. Le Jug is literally on us here. The, uh, the end section is really rapid. All we have are boss fights now. Four fights for the dub. Let's go, guys. Bring this home, sub nine. We got this, we got this, we got this. Good three timer there. <clears throat> Moon Ring is our biggest uh, DPS, so we're gonna lean on that heavy. that great eagle built up as quickly as we can. Didn't quite build it. Close. One more disorient will get us there. Which will be perfect. Perfect for the setup. For Great Eagle. Very nice start here. Exceptional. Little jug so far. Definitely need some MP built up. It's the only thing here. Let's combo it out of... Uh, we'll be fine, but let's go uh, Zale for the... Uh, well, we can leave that out there. And uh, we'll attack, get more boost out there. We don't really need to break this lock yet, but we will. Get our disorients back. Build our MP back is what we're really doing here. Okay, uh, disorient. Boom. Good.
Like now we're flowing quickly here, not thinking. We're just moving very quickly. Oh baby, I've never used conflagrate on this fight. This could really be great. It's away from you pretty easy. There it did. Wow, 720, holy shit. Good defend. This is gonna be a big time save, by the way. We got Sunball coming next, too. Come at me, bro. Don't really care. We're about to win, I think. We got the Great Eagle next, that for some reason we're not. Boom! That death literally was irrelevant. 34-41 in the green, positioning us for a sub-9. Let's go. We're to the good by one minute right now. We're on 8.59 pace. And need to keep pushing. Keep pushing. We didn't have a very good Soul Curator either, if I remember right. I didn't rest after the fight. Hmm. I should have, actually. I'm not gonna get another rest, I don't believe. But I think we should be okay. The only concern is my MP, really. And, oh, I wonder if this... There's no way this is considered a rest, right? Oh, is that as considered a rest? Oh, GG. But is it really? You know, the sound died down there, right? We can tell right here. Yeah, it wasn't a rest. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Jibate rest. Scam rest. This is called the Room of Illusions here. Time to do the one fishing in the entire speedrun for the lonely fish. <clears throat> Here, fishy, fishy. What a lonely fish, indeed. He never struggles either. He allows you to always reel him in. I find that interesting. So just wants a friend, right? A fish that just wants a friend. Yep, still no heal. Just keep on checking that out of curiosity more than anything. Hmm. There's a rescue. Fantastic. So we should not uh, heal earlier. Lovely. Although my MP here needs to be looking okay. And it is. Oh, we do get a full heal. Look at that. You get a free heal. Lovely to find that out.
and it's actually a skull. Well, I'm just, you know, I'm enthralled by the illusion, all right? You're not? Like, I'm in the moment. I'm sorry to hear you're not. And that's my fish. And to me, he's gotta be a fighter, too. I'm not happy he's such a... He's such a lame fish. Very good routing, good navigation here. Phase two, phase two, here we go. I've really fucked up phase two, I don't really know how last night. Should be super simple. Abeyance to begin. How do we get them all? There. Okay, good. We'll have to enter that in the notes, how you do that. It's a little complicated. Wow, better tonight. Those did not die yesterday. I don't know why. Don't really know why. Jeez, what a good phase two. Got him. Okay. Is there a heal here? I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna level up, huh? Well, for the ending, I guess give me a little health, huh? Can't hurt. Certainly can't hurt. That is a double Petricor, by the way. 24 on Rashawn. That's big. That's actually quite big. Heading into the ending on Ellis Sandorell. no save back here, is there? Yeah, okay. Uh, so, how are we looking? Petrichor up. I'm gonna have to live with my MP. So we just gotta rock and roll it. Which is fine, because the first two fights have been so good. As long as this one's just reasonably good, we're gonna save quite a bit of time already. Hey, Knob. Yeah, me too, man. You and me both. Welcome on in. Let's go ahead and Crescent Arc it. Okay. I'm gonna focus the Soul Curator today, which is different than what I normally do. Give me, uh, Rashawn and Abeyance. Hope you're having a good Sunday, Nah. Good to see you, though. Okay. Okay. Got enough for Sunball now. Trying to bring it home, Sub Nine. Gonna be, gonna be pretty squeaky tight. Squeaky tight tonight. Finally got one. Okay. You know what? Uh, give me. I don't want this turn to happen. Actually, I don't know if I want your turn to happen. Get the heck out of here. What is he going to do with this? I don't actually know what his turn is. Does he call more minions in? Yeah, he does. How many? Just one. That's fine. Okay. Uh, wow, I'm just so low on MP here is the main issue. We need the... No. Yeah, the MP. 
I just gotta keep punching him until he's actually dead. Who do I have left that I can do anything at the moment? <laughs> Okay, good. Oh, good. Got him out of there. Now let's just win. Excellent. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get this guy out of here. We're not going to be able to. I mean, close. This is going to get dicey, actually. Nice defend to save us a little. Wow, this is actually getting quite risky. Uh, give me some a meat shield a little bit, so that we're fine. Cool. All we got to do is chop down these two and we're through. Good, got a combo back. We'll get Valir back here, who has uh, what I need, the Crested Arc. GG. Attack Bist, will ya? My guy. My guy. Love ya. Uh, God, what do I have? I literally have nothing. Oh, we have Arcane Moons. Perfect. I was wondering if I had that. Nice. Let's go. Uh, 16. We can do that. Alright, through Soul Curator with a basically break even split. That's exactly what I was looking for. As we get a rest next, thank God did we need it. Well, we're down to two fights, and two fights to the to the sub nine. This is it. There's our mega elixir, the legendary feast. Okay, phase reaper time. Tough fight, tough fight. The Great Eagle is a great play here. As is Conflict Rate. But you might pivot to Arcane Barrage if you... If you have to. Okay. We'll delay it to focus him for a sec here. He's gonna bring in his buddies in a sec and we're not gonna be able to get him one-on-one. -on -one. So I like going in with the disorient from the rip. Good, very good disorient. I mean, very good moon array. Okay, here comes the bros. Well, come on in, buddy. Lock breaking time. I 
Level 1 combo. Working toward conflict right here. Yeah, good. Sunball time. Good, got it. Didn't get it. You know what? Um, I'm gonna try out Arcane Moons on this fight. I've never tried it. Let's just give it a shot. Okay, not awful. I'm gonna say no to Conflagrate today, actually, on purpose. And, um... And, uh, prioritize MP Restoration instead. We're gonna we're gonna pivot to a different direction here. I think I like this. There's the great eagle ready to rock and roll. We'll get it out here now. Perfect. They were all about to get a turn. Look how long their turn is next. Huh? Big ol' four spot, baby. Let's go. We're nice. I was gonna say we're close to taking him down at this point. That is just for MP. It's a great move. It is a great move. So we're gonna give him a turn here. We need a turn at this point. We have to restore our MP in this phase, basically. And so he's not going to call on his buddies anymore for a sec. Okay, uh, that is easy. We got him right where we want him here. He'll call his buddies back eventually, but he's going to be so close to death, it won't matter. Perfect. Got enough for the Moonerang. Oh, what a lovely fight this is going to be. We're going to smash that lock. He's never going to get a turn in the entire fight. That's how this is going to go. Yeah, no, get the fuck out of here. I'm feeling like we're close to winning here. We're almost there. You'll know it, though, and we have Great Eagle about ready to go. Uh, Phase Reaper will look actually tired. I think he is. Yep, he's looking very tired here. Great Eagle, baby. Probably for the win. GG. Mm. What a fight. Calling my shot. This will be the this will be the death knell right here. Damn close. It'll be this or the sunball. Hmm. Saved a minute through there. Didn't split on Soul Curator through and both saved a minute. Excellent. Just deepening the sub nine. That's the goal now. Farther, farther, farther. Only one fight left, guys. And that is the Ellison Durrell. My boy, Verlot. Hey, Nerd Dad. How you doing, brother? 
Happy Sunday. How goes tonight's run? Oh, you're about to be able to witness our sub nine, baby. Four runs in five days. This one feels great. Hope you're having a good night too. Only one thing now, don't fuck it up. That's it. It's on me here. I don't have any gill? To buy any braces? What? Oh, spicy. Really? What's in my inventory? Literally nothing? Oh. Okay then. We have no braces for this fight, guys. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to be really professional, and, and this is going to have to be a great fight. I have nothing but one mega elixir. A brace is an elixir, and you should be able to buy quite a few here. For some reason, I don't have any guilt today. It's a pretty tough fight, Dare. It is not an easy one here. It's not very risky, though. It definitely, I will say, it's a, it's not a fight I'm worried about dying on. I just want to bring this home and, as efficiently as I can, and those braces might help me a lot. But that's okay. We'll be alright. We'll be alright. Keep in mind, we do not split on this fight. We split on the final fight, which is the World Eater kill after. So this is not the official end. There we go. Lean on Moonerang. Sunball. Great Eagle. Maybe conflagrate, but I might make a spicy pivot to an arcane barrage here. Nice. Um, she doesn't have a turn. We're gonna have to accept this. Nothing I can do. That was just extremely unlucky that the one person I chose to go was the one that could, uh, the only one that could break that. Okay. Okay, close to the Great Eagle. We'll accept this attack. Excellent defense. Oh, that's all you got for me, buddy? Sure. I'll take that. Alright. Great Eagle built. Uh, no, it has to be a Moonerang, actually. Good opportunity for good damage here.
I'm in a Great Eagle multiple times in this fight. It is a long fight. Two phases. Phase one, phase two. Not gonna break the lock either. No need. We're just gonna get our MP back. They literally can't act until I let them act here. Get out of here. What a nice phase one. Got conflagrate all ready to go. Well, let's just end it. Phase one, what I mean. If it does... Yep, they have a lot. A lot, a lot here. Okay, we'll accept this turn. Give me some MP back. Oh, got through it! Oh my goodness, what a phase one. That might have been... one of the best ones I've seen. Now we just got to have a great phase two. Balls to the wall here. Everything we got. This is the run. This phase is it. Okay, give me you and all of our big hitters. We're going to let him take a turn here to begin, actually. I need boosting and my MP back. Uh, okay, perfect. Love that lock. Allows me to restore my MP, too. Kind of like they're being kind to me. Nice, MP's looking excellent now. Okay, let's go. Can delay. We're not going to be able to get through to Great Eagle yet, though. And so I need to restore my MP prior to that. And so we'll take this turn. Got all three of them. Bingo. That's big, that restores your MP by plus one every time, right? Ouch. Okay. Uh, swap uh, items, warble. I'll take that. Whatever that's coming my way. What is it? Crystal touch. I think this is okay. Easy. Okay. Ooh, Valir. Uh oh. Oh, that was very kind. Okay, excellent. Uh, swap in for Petricor and Great Eagle almost built. Ooh, I should have delayed though. What is this? Life Leech. Is that gonna like. What is that? I've never seen this actually. I have never seen that. That was super cool actually. Okay. Great Eagle's ready. Okay. Moonerang. We almost got Conflagrate. This is going quite well, actually. How do I do that? I think I have to have a boosted a boot. Yeah, we'll bring in a uh, disc if we need to break that lock. I'll abeyance it, or I will Great Eagle it now. I also have Arcane Barrage if I am in a tight spot for an extra four turns delay.
Legendary Feast Time for the MP. Love that play, actually. That's gonna basically win for us, I think. Conflagrate. Gotten right there. Break the lock. So that we can do the Conflagrate for full damage. He needs more MP. We can do that. We can make that happen. It's alright. Okay. Here we go. Uh, let's be smart and get boosting. Oh, wait. Don't show me a lock, please. Thank you. Okay. Double boosted conflagrate right here. She is not liking that. She is not liking that. Great Eagle. Fly, baby, fly. Let's go. We are destroying this fight. We're not going to break that for a minute. We're going to do damage. Oh, yes! That might be the best fight I've ever seen. By a long shot. By a long shot. We've just been destroying the end of this run today. Love to see it. Not done yet, though. This is going to be a great end time. Huge improvement today. Cheers to our fourth run. Way better than I expected, actually. No practice at all from run three to run four. Just one run better. And so we showed up and we showed out. Now let's finish it off. Very GG today. Under nine hours soon? Sure. In one minute. You're not gonna have to wait long here, Divine. We're living the sub nine life, baby, and it is a good one. Well, let's just try not to die, huh? <laughs> Go out in style. Do some donuts, do a victory lap. This is called the finish victory lap here. And nothing but fun time. Mm -hmm. Super beam me, baby. Let's go. Final phase, we're at sub-857, let's go, let's fucking go, guys. Mm -hmm. 
Boom! 856.28. That is just what I wanted today. And God, does that feel good. Mmm. Sub 9. Well, have a good night's sleep. Enjoying that. Fun four runs in five days. Hope you guys have been enjoying them. I might do another tomorrow. Might do another Tuesday. After this run, now we're ready to world record. That is only 25 minutes from uh, WR. Was that a PB? Yeah, by 36 minutes, 49 seconds. You can't tell. <laughs> How many beers have you had tonight, Bean? As we get to enjoy the fantastic finish, as we do every time here. Cool credits, cool, uh, cool everything at the end. Cutscene, gotta, gotta hold in here for an FMV. Thank you, thank you for the GGs, guys. Just like Chrono Trigger, the credit music is so fucking good. It uh, makes you really, really enjoy the ending. See our Bardcore band. Keenathan, Jack of Val Trades, Yolande, and Captain Cliche. Love the naming. I love the music right here. So on the next stanza, it kicks back into high gear. file cutscene. Appreciate the follow Max Guitarist. Hope you enjoyed our uh, voyage of the Sea of Stars. There you go. There's your payoff. Final, final cutscene of the Solstice Warriors flying over every year on Garl's birthday to honor their long lost warrior cook friend. I'm going to raid out tonight, guys. No more left, but saying I do. I'll catch you tomorrow for either another Sea of Stars run or, if not, probably Chrono Trigger. I'll be putting in some work in the next couple days on the node improvement on the routing, finally, for the first time. And so let me find a comfy raid spot for you. You know, I don't see anyone going. I think I would just bid you guys adieu. Thanks for chilling tonight. Do drop a follow if you enjoy the Sea of Stars content. Check out Discord. And if you want to stay up to date on the stream schedule and the awesome community we have here, definitely drop a subscribe to YouTube. 
And if you want to check out the uh, streams, I upload them all after the fact. I'm P-Town. You guys rock. Take care.